have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479. 9808483340-9400 or 6359906. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Someone <laughs> Moro Avenari, Corran, Nko, Medo Kola Nakangan Kono Sai San Nom Kibaro Nata Namo Bailo Kono Mesejo. You consider Nasunkar Balwal Kama Balwala Bitikoto. Dukara Jibe Minkara Sukuroni Manon in Tulon in Javun in Fentomal, Mako Dukare. Mako Ibamba Ibamba. Hello and welcome to the brunch on Kerfatu Live. I'm Lavin Cham and our weekly current affairs program is back. Now, only last week, of course, we were talking about the National Assembly elections, where we had over 200 candidates vying for 53 seats. Well, the election is now done and dusted, and the 53 winners have been identified. 
After that, we also have uh, the parliament itself inaugurated with a speaker and a deputy speaker, all of them new, installed at the assembly on Thursday. We will deal with uh, our own perspective analysis of the election results and the new outlook of the National Assembly. And with me in the studio to do that is, on my far right is Kausul Jalama. Kausul is uh, uh, university, a lecturer at the Gambia University who is specializing in law. So Kausul Jalama Esquire, welcome. Thank you. Next to, for, next to him is Fode Chor. Fode Chor is a prominent member of the APRC from its beginning up to the time it split into two. And Fode sympathizes the faction led by um, Yaya Tamba, loyal to former president Yaya Dame. Him and his party won five seats in the past elections. He will tell us about uh, his perspective about that victory in Fode and other matters dealing with the elections. Fode, welcome. And he's just back, he's just fresh from the United Kingdom where he's based. Fode, welcome. Thank you very much, Lamy Chao. Yeah, and he's a familiar face for people who follow government affairs on social media. Demba Ali Dao, veteran journalist, uh, former Minister of Information, commentator on government political affairs, is with us to give us his uh, perspective of the elections and the inauguration of parliament and how the sixth legislature will look like. Welcome, Dao. Thank you. Good. Then we have presidential advisor Shehun Balo and a prominent member of the governing National People's Party who won the election, yes, by majority, although of course people will say only just. He will talk to us about uh, the performance of his uh, party, his appointments, and uh, you know, trials, as well as uh, his coalition partners. Mr. Balo, welcome to the floor. Thank you for having me. Good, let me begin. Uh, with uh, you, Mr. Papa, because uh, they said on whose head lies the crown as uh, well. Congratulations, you went into the parliamentary elections, you came out with 18 seats, your partners came out with six, so you have 24 seats out of 53. By all accounts, you will not call that a very high score, is it? Well, I mean, Mr. Champ, uh, first of all, I Thank um, the colleagues, uh, Mr. Fode, uh, Mr. Kausu, and also Demba Jao, journalists, uh, for being with me here this afternoon. Thank you for coming too. And uh, for agreeing to discuss and analyze our political situation and other uh, uh, matters that concern the Gambian people. First of all, uh, Mr. Cham, I would congratulate the Gambian people for agreeing and also accepting, conducting a free and fair election in this country, and also peacefully. Important, yeah. That is very important mm -hmm. for our democratization process. Mm -hmm. this, this is what we have been calling for throughout. Mm -hmm. We wanted a Gambia whereby democracy, genuine democracy is practiced, mm -hmm. respect for human rights exists, mm -hmm. rule of law, also exist and today thank God how many political parties wow. we went into elections mm -hmm. nobody was arrested nobody was tortured nobody was killed put in prison mm -hmm. from the presidential elections up to the National Assembly election yeah. so that is a plus a credit for, the for His Excellency yeah. President Adam Abaro. indeed definitely it's a credit mm -hmm. looking at other countries mm -hmm. our neighbors mm -hmm. What happened there in Guinea Conakry and other places yes, whereby yes. political leaders Elections have, have been thrown into jail? Yeah. People have been killed. Mm -hmm. Women have been raped. Mm -hmm. We know what happened in other countries. Exactly. So if we should Gambia, if we should conduct an elections, mm -hmm. and also I would congratulate the IEC mm -hmm. for conducting this election peacefully. peacefully. And also our security forces mm -hmm. for maintaining peace. Exactly. This election was conducted. The opposition didn't complain, nobody was harassed, nobody was intimidated. We are very happy that uh, Mr. Cham, when, we, when His Excellency came into power, NPP, we had no, we had no member of parliament. We have none. Yeah. We had no member of parliament. parliament yes. We fought through committed Gambians mm -hmm. who supported the president agenda until today. Mm -hmm. Now, thank God, we are going with 18 elected 
members in this country. That is definitely we are happy. This is the beginning, and uh, we believe uh, we going to deliver. The, uh, MPP is going to deliver good for the Gambian people. Uh, staying with that, um, let me start with the, the, your critic said you should never even have taken part in the elections because your party, the NPP, never hold the Congress within the two-year limits decreed by the electoral law, which says you should hold Congress within two years. Your party admitted you did not do that. The IEC admitted you didn't do, but it was election time. Your critic said you have violated the law. Mr. Chow, we all know that um, according to the electoral laws mm -hmm. of this country, mm -hmm. any registered political parties that exist should conduct um, its Congress mm -hmm. within two years. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. looking at the, 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 the schedule, election schedule of the IEC, mm -hmm. it could coincide it with the time of NPP holding the Congress. I see. Mm -hmm. How can we have two, how, how can two things go concur concurrently? How can we be having Congress while election, national election is going on? Yeah, in, 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 in the presidential elections, yes. that one you were not even four years, you were not even two years. We were not two years. That is excuse. That's understandable. Because we registered this political party on December, the 31st of December, December 2019. 2019. Okay, you and then you 2020, were, 2020, yeah, 2021, yeah, there was the, election. There was election you on the 4th of December. Two, you were not even two years. So, we were not two years. So, so there's no problem with that. Yes. But in April, yes. by April, you are already two years, three months. You could but, have thought there was no election between January, between December. At the time we to, scheduled, to, that's to, the time we scheduled to have our Congress, and the, the IEC said we have to go into a national election. What bit is bigger? So Which so is bigger? The IEC who said you you don't need you could you could no. But I'm one. telling you, according to the schedule of the IEC, mm -hmm. they said they are going to conduct the, nas uh, the national assembly elections on the on the ninth of April. So from December to April, you couldn't hold a congress. We could we could we we were just after, we were just from the presidential election. We are trying to schedule settle down and also conduct our congress mm -hmm. and the, the, this, uh, the national assembly elections also. But the law still said you should do it or you shouldn't because a precedence was set. NCP when they had a row, uh, each that, the, the very factions held their own congress. The IEC said that the there IEC. is no unified congress. He didn't recognize those congress. He, he recognized one that is hold. Um, you know, comprising the all, all the factions, both factions of the NCP, and the NCP was suspended. Mr. Chairman. For not holding a unified Congress, just a Congress. Mr. But Chairman, mm -hmm. that was a conflict. You cannot compare these two things. For what happened in the incident of I, uh, NCP, mm -hmm. we all know the disagreement. That's in the Manjang Kusamusa and the other side. Mm -hmm. They were, they all, the party was divided. Mm -hmm. There was a division in the party. Mm -hmm. There was no, in our, in on our case, NPP, mm -hmm. we don't have any division. We have no problem in holding Congress. We are ready to hold Congress. But you didn't we, we are ready to hold it in April, you did not and do the April is national elections. But you did, still did not do it on the right time, I did, I did stipulated by the law. But who, who, who can you do you want or do you want to blame us? Who now? The national interest yeah. and also party interest. What is more important to the Gambians is the national interest. That is, we can have I, to I, we I have so? to go into yeah, elections. Come, come in we there. cannot give the Gambian the exodus, We cannot give the Gambian people the excuse that we are not going into. We are not going to participate because we have to go to Congress. The national national elections is more important than the party interest. This is why we respected the IEC schedule and we went into international elections force. We are going to call Congress Good. very, very soon. Um, um, I, I, can yeah, I just yes. say something on this issue? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I understand what the law says is that um, uh, you can hold it within two years. Yes. It doesn't necessarily mean that, I mean, you have to wait until the two years is, uh, or Expired. after the two years. You can hold it even before the two years. They knew exactly that April is election month. Mm -hmm. They could have made arrangements to hold it well even before the, they have um, scored the two years. I mean, so I, I don't think that's a very valid excuse anyway. Mm -hmm. Let me make that point. Yeah. Let me make that point. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we all know as a new party, mm -hmm. we know as a new party, to, set, to settle down for, for a new party, we to have we already did our Congress, Congress provincial, provincial, regional ones, regional ones, mm -hmm. and also just um, the constituency ones, yeah. and also the wards and villages. Yeah. We have our structures; they are put in place. Yeah. The, 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 the national, national executive one, one that is that is what is 
that was not not, not conducted. Not, yeah, and that's what the law said. That's what the law is. Yeah. And also, what Mr. Jawa is saying mm -hmm. that we should have done it in two years. Yes, you don't think it's you oversighted? We didn't do it. We, we, didn't you think you oversighted? Yeah, we are talking about violation. Yes. It's a, it's a real this, this regard anything about you should have done it a month after or two months. Why, why are you posting this question because of Violet. speculation of the, uh, yes. the I mean, the, the two years? Yeah. But not because having it one year, having it one year. Yeah, but it lost two years. Within, within two years. Within, within, within two, two years. years. You yeah. did not hold it anyway. We, we, we are waiting to hold it on, so the, on you, April. So you are in violation of the rule. And if even that, it, let, let me tell you, mm -hmm. even that we have not violated anything. Yeah, because. because mm -hmm. what, High is he, that is the speculation, but that does not mean that immediately there is nowhere in the constitution that state that if you don't hold it, you are suspended or you, 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 your party is closed. You, you what, cannot That is there. It says you cannot tell me any letter, tell them, but tell me anywhere it, in the IEC it, rule it, that state that after two years, if you don't hold a Congress, your party is. No, is, it says a party can only sponsor candidates in election when it is registered based on no regional, no politics, and it hold elections within two years. So it, but, virtually what the law is saying that but here, any our party, argument, any our party, legal argument here is by the law. Yeah. Tell me anywhere in the law, a new party yeah. has not called Congress. They uh, hold the Congress during the two years yeah. and should be, should, uh, party should not sponsor now, candidates. This, it's nowhere. Yeah, but, but this something? is how it is put. It says a party can only sponsor candidates in an election yes. when it hold elections in within two years. So that that's saying that any party who doesn't do that cannot sponsor candidates in election. It comes to the same thing. It comes to the, it, it does it, it, it's different. It's different. <laughs> okay. we tell me, tell me the punishment, the, yeah. consequence, the, the consequences of that. There should have been in the constitution, yeah. we all know what the constitution is saying. Yeah, but, but, then, but then of course, somebody, Where are the, then what yeah. is the co co but uh, somebody, constitution? Somebody somewhere can just get up and say, no, no. all right, I'm going to court because NPP did not hold Congress and the law said they cannot sponsor candidates in this election, in any election that they, without holding um, Congress. A Congress within two months. So if can, somebody get up now and can you call any now? section of the we will ask the, even if I am the lawyer for MPP, I would ask him call any section of the constitution that state that these are the consequence consequences of that. Good. Can I can I observe? All right, for the tour, yes. um, he is yes. What's your point on that? M my my point is um, let's look at uh, the procedures and what is stated legally. Mm -hmm. I'm not a legal man, but we have a practitioner here who can advise us. Mm -hmm. um, MPP is a new party. Mm -hmm. Before two years, mm -hmm. the IEC's scheduled date for Congresses was here. Was announced. Yeah. And it was announced. Yeah. This Much was earlier. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know what stopped them from having the Congress at that time because mm -hmm. we don't have to wait for MPP. It's every two years. Mm -hmm. If you look at the APRC constitution, mm -hmm. it's stated there every four years. Mm -hmm. But the uh, provisional laws supersede the laws of the land, mm -hmm. supersede the constitution. So, of the yeah. Yeah. so I don't know what is in their constitution, mm -hmm. what is stated, whether they should do it every two years mm -hmm. or so. But the, con the laws of the land supersedes mm -hmm. the constitution. Mm -hmm. So they should go by that. So I don't know who has failed here, whether mm -hmm. the IEC had not called their attention to say, the yeah, exactly, to yeah. call them and say, mm -hmm. look, this is time. Because yeah. IEC, they are referees. Exactly. They are not there to lead people until yeah. when they are wrong, they tell them. Mm -hmm. I think they should have called their attention yes, yes, if, yes. If, if it is not right. Yeah. But in this case, mm -hmm. I did really want to excuse them for that. Now they have to wait until the other two years, when two the other two years come for them yeah. to do their call. I think the pro that's, that's what, just, just that's what uh, most critics said. Yeah. They said, um, the NPP apparently oversighted. Yes. The, the proposal. Yes. Whether or not they are relying on the fact that there will be no consequence, yes. whether that's correct or not, but apparently they oversighted it. But the IEC, like you said, so should have been the body who should have written to them and said, ah, you people are now becoming to have two years. Exactly. And the law said you should hold a Congress. Exactly. So it is the IEC that is to blame. Yes. But violation indeed happened. It did happen. That's what it's, I think. The IEC that is to blame. Yeah, the referees should, yeah, the referees should have alerted to them that look, you are getting over two years now, and now it's time for you to hold elections. Otherwise, there will be issues as to whether you can take part in the other elections. But the IEC failed to do that, apparently. Yeah. And the, the chairman said, that is because we are in an election cycle. Whether that is, that holds well, water or not. Well, if, that, well now, that, that we closed this that's case. That's what he said. That's closed the case. Okay. I think we have more issues. Because <laughs> hence the IEC said, yes. they, they are in election year. But they that cannot, doesn't change the fact that they failed to act. Well, I think that 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 question now should be directed <laughs> to I. <IEC. laughs> okay, Council yes. Jadawa, you can help us here. Um, I you 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 you've written a lot of things about uh, you know the election rules and etc. Your observation. 
What do you make of the fact that the NPP did not hold the Congress um, and the IEC uh, failed to act, you know, it remind them or to fail them into order, failed to put them in order? Um, thank you very much. Um, the, I think uh, this is about um, uh, IEC is the referee here, is the, is, is, you know, is the umpire here. Mm -hmm. So obviously um, IEC should have raised the flag that look, you are within time to conduct um, a congress. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a it's a condition precedent for 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 for, for any party to proceed with um, electioneers. Yeah. So obviously, I see no reason why IEC should have allowed NPP mm -hmm. in the first place to proceed with electioneers when they did not actually conduct uh, you know the congress, mm -hmm. which is a requirement mm -hmm. to be part and parcel of the race. Yeah. So I see no reason why, and I see no excuse with IEC mm -hmm. saying that this election cycle or whatever election calendar they have time. They have time to look up, they have time to prepare, they have time to campaign, they have time to uh, come with, with their candidates. So obviously NPP have every other uh, reason, you know, to, you know, to comply, you know, with the laws. Yeah. So here, I think, you know, the blame goes to the, you know, to the I, empire, you know, to the IEC, yeah, to the IEC. Mm -hmm. yes, for not raising the flag or for not calling their attention. Mm -hmm. And then after all, for allowing them mm -hmm. to proceed. Okay. That's it. Okay, let's move on now. Uh, uh, you, you, you didn't elaborate on the other one. You scored 18 yes. seats. Yes. Your, yes. Your, your coalition partner, six. Yes. 24 yes. altogether out of 53. I, to, I put it to you that you cannot be proud of that result, especially you lost in regions that are very important. You lost in Banjul. In fact, where President Barrow, where was he registered in? No, I think he registered in Banjul Center. Banjul. He lost there. He lost the, the, the remaining two, and he lost in the entire KMC. Yeah. Um, and then he lost, if, if, I mean, the party won only one in, 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 in West Coast, which is all Yundum. Yes. I mean, you cannot be proud of that result. Even though you said you are relatively new, but then you had the advantage as an incumbent, and only three months ago, I mean, you swept, I mean, the whole area in the country, the presidential election. So what went wrong? Um, Mr. Chair, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I think you can agree with me that we did well mm -hmm. during the presidential election yes, in those concerned yes. constituencies. Yes, and the regions. There is no doubt yeah. in those regions. We yeah. did well. Yeah. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, there was a setback mm -hmm. on the 9th of April. What was it? The, the reasons are many, but I would um, point out mm -hmm. few. Okay. I would point, I, I would point out few. Um, number one, Gambians must, uh, must understand that the National Assembly elections involved people who are from those constituencies. Uh, within a locality. Within a locality. Mm -hmm. They were to select, mm -hmm. if, you know, among, Themselves. let's say, applicant, 10 applicants. Mm -hmm. In the among case of MPP, mm -hmm. we had sometimes in some constituencies 12, or 12 so. applicants yeah. 11 applicants mm -hmm. five applicants mm -hmm. it, the competition was high mm -hmm. and this is within the own within but the, the same family, constituency yeah. within the same constituency and the same mpp mm -hmm. party mm -hmm. so the competition the competition grew up mm -hmm. within our own people brothers yes i know in other cases you see an uncle applying a nephew applying yes so now the family was they were they, they, they don't know who to what to do now this is what happened so in these areas. So how did you handle that? And then mm -hmm. um, our selection committee mm -hmm. in these areas, mm -hmm. I must call spade a spade. Mm -hmm. um, they, 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 they didn't they, do they well. Fa they failed us. Mm -hmm. They didn't do. They, they didn't perform well because in such circumstances, mm -hmm. in the principle of democracy, they should have conducted primaries among these people to give the people themselves the benefit of the doubt. Who will we, who is going to be the winner of this seat? There were a few primaries, I was told, in, in common in public common. But I understood uh, yes, there were a few primaries. Yeah. Nonetheless, according to what we in feedback that we are hearing, mm -hmm. they were not conducted that, uh, conducted fa fa fairly. fairly. Yeah. That's that's the information we are we are receiving from, from, from our party members. So basically your selection process was a problem. Well that number one gave us a problem. Number two? Number two, also, at the, at the day of the voting, mm -hmm. instead of the leadership of those constituencies, mm -hmm. like I said, get up and get the people out to vote mm. because of the division that they had during uh -huh. the selection, okay. 
They did not mobilize people. They, they failed to mobilize people. For the party sponsored For the party candidates. sponsored, uh, sponsored candidates. candidates. Because ah. they, some of them were angry. Ah, they see. had their grievances. Ah, so see. now they said, I, I don't care. Yeah, I see. Most of them sat down and left the, uh, and left the party on, uh, so sponsored, fend for itself. sponsored parties mm. to go and fight for themselves. I see. This is this is this are one of the reasons. Okay. They, we have realized that we have got the feedback mm -hmm. that our own party executive members mm -hmm. failed to to do their job. I see. That's the reality. Okay. The next one, if there is any. No, I think Those I will stop here. There are other things, there but, are I, others, your but people, I don't. Your journalists are here. I don't want to feed them. <laughs> your, people, <laughs> your people, your people, also blame voter apathy. Not the co people not coming. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Simply because, mm. simply, they didn't come out because mm. our people didn't ask them to come. And, and they, they, some of them feel that this is not even important to us. So they sat down. They didn't come out. Look at how many, 400,000 votes. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how many? 900,000. It's always the case with Regis. parliamentary elections. Wait, since people relax. since they, they were separated from presidential elections. They said they don't care. Some mm. people were telling us the day of, after the presidential election, when they put their voters card somewhere, they don't know even where it is. Mm, okay. They didn't even know. They didn't care. They so, said it's, election is over. President election is over. Not, not, not knowing that this one equally is very important. UDP mm -hmm. did their job because the UDP knew UDP militants mm -hmm. capitalized and got their people out mm -hmm. to vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While our people, while our own MPP people were sitting there relaxing, they didn't do anything. UDP got their people out, and that's why they were able to get these votes. You mentioned the UDP. They criticized. I'll mention. Uh, yeah, I know. They analyzed. Charles, there no. is no party that I will spare here. No, no, we are not this saying. This is democracy you, now, you, genuine democracy, you freedom you of speech. I'm sure you mentioned them, so I'm going to give you yes. the, the point of view of their supporters. Yes. Some of them said, uh, unlike the presidential elections, when they believe, they still believe that it was foreign voters, cross-border voters who voted for Barrow, this time, like you yourself said, there wasn't much mobilization of your supporters, including, according to them, those foreign voters. That's the, why you couldn't. Do you want to tell me, because, mm -hmm. do you want to tell me, uh, Mr. Chan, mm -hmm. the registration was done in the presence of Hussein Udabo and his executive here. Mm -hmm. Did, why, who stopped them? And they were revising courts. Judges were appointed. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, there is no, it's, it's, we should not beat a dead horse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a waste of time. Why should we go about telling people some, we, some people were registered foreigners? While we got the opportunity mm -hmm. to go and supervise who should get a voter's card. Now is not the time for us Gambian to waste our time. Okay. They had all the opportunity to challenge the IEC, challenge somebody to the IEC, and you register. If, if you are not if you are not Gambian, your voter's card would be revoked. You didn't do that. Now you come in trying to mislead Gambians. Too late. That is that is, that is irrelevant. Too late. So don't waste your time so, on so that. So it was in that. Now, uh, you, you what about the performance of the your coalition partners? The APR had five yes. before going to the elections. Yes. Uh, they no longer have that five where they got it, but they have two from Bundung and in Joshua. So how is their performance? They had they had five now they have left with two. Well, the, the, I mean the problem is they, they lost two they, they lost three. They, they lost five. They, no, they, no, they, they the contested five, the the seven. The seven, yes. They contested seven. Yes. They had two. They lost five. They lost the four years. Yeah, they lost five. Anyway, where is four years? They, they lost the four years. Okay. That is un, un, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But we know that they are with the Gambian Gambian people. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened in Fony. I was not in Fony, so really I I cannot dwell much about what happened in the Fony yet because I have not got the fit. I have not sat mm -hmm. since I came from the Upper River. Mm -hmm. I have not sat with the people of Fony, our mm -hmm. APRC people. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to speculate what happened in, in those five seats. Right, but what I know the party is I know the party is APRC is united. No. Again, uh, on the, uh, but all the same, you the accept that they lost ground. They lost ground. I mean, they, they, they contested for seven. You already have five with you. Yes. Now you have two. And even those areas are new places, not not where you used to call a base. So yeah, that, is, that, that one is not a magical team. We all know they, they lost, lost ground. ground. But what I'm telling you is the reason behind their lo lo uh, yeah, you may not them know losing uh, Fony. We want to know. Exactly. NRP had five. Your partner, they had five. But now they have two. They've lost one. No. Four. And they had four. They, they, sorry, they had five. Now they have four. They, they lost, lost yes. one. They lost one. They lost only one. Yes, that's it. That's, that's, that's so, it. So they, they lost ground in Sabak Yeah, that's Sabak Do you Sanyal. know what happened? But that is, that, is, that is elections. What happened is because of the independent candidates, applicants. I that's see. what I'm telling you now. What so, happened? So the same, the same it's the same scenario the same that, also, that, also, uh, that also affected N N uh, uh, NRP. Good. But thank God, yeah. we did all of that. We did well. 
And at that's where I'm going. Because UDP got in 2017, they were going with 31. But if they should, if but they are reduced, but eight defected. I want anyway. Huh? Eight of them defected to your people. Yes. They so defected. they were left with 22. They were with 22. Yeah. 22 down to. They're down 15. to 15. Yes. If you put their. So it's, if you do, if you put that uh, independent mask, uh, that UDP man mask as an independent in in Buzumbala, that will be 16 for them. Okay, if you also so put, if from... you also put six independent candidates who were within the family of MPP, yeah. they were not selected, yeah. and they went and won and won, and they will come back, and they are coming back <laughs> to their house. Nobody <laughs> will stop them from coming. We are fine. This... But then you did very well. The party did very well in Basse, where you scored hundred percent, and CRR, where I think you lost only two, maybe. Yes. Oh, okay. So how, what went right? For the, for the interview at that area. Well, I must say I was um, I was the coordinating officer for MPP. Oh. I, I, I was the desk officer oh. for MPP. So you, uh, from the wh what, what was your tricks, Magic? My tricks, I will not reveal all my because <laughs> I don't want I don't want. Well, you scored hundred percent there. Yes. Uh -huh. We did it because of people of U R R we are committed. Mm. You, you didn't have the selection problem. There were we didn't have the selection problem. But there were a lot of candidates too. I con we uh, conducted. I we it was it involved when I went there. Mm. We involved the elders. Council of Elders, I call on the Council of Elders to participate mm. from the district level. All the constituents, I want the Council of Elders to come mm -hmm. and participate in the selection process. Uh -huh. That is the MPP Council of Elders. Uh -huh. And also the district chair, district committee. Yes. That's the constituency committee. Okay. They were all present. We spoke to them, we told them that the, you are competing, and uh, also you have to understand that one part at the end is only one person who will be selected. We want if you are committed to the principle of MPP, yeah. to the and also have interest of this country, yeah. and you believe the MPP leader, the Secretary General Party leader, is doing good. There is no point for you to go and fight if you are not selected. And okay. they understood. We we, we 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 went there. We did everything. Those who were selected, we worked together. Some mm -hmm. refused. They said but they, they, they no opted to go into primary. I said we. I will conduct primaries. I'm not going to handpick anybody here. That is not democratic. But you conducted primaries throughout. I went and sent somebody to go and buy buckets. Mm. We put, I put pictures. I said, go and get your pictures. Get your pictures. Committee members, we have the mem committee me delegates who are going to vote. Mm. They will come here and vote. And, and, and that's what we did. Throughout all the basic constituencies you... And that's what we did. Ah, okay. Throughout. And we did the, uh, the, the primaries. Those who uh, <laughs> passing who the persons who won the elections, the selection process. Contested. Them. I call everybody. They shook hands and they, and they said united. They, they were they, united. They, 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 so they fought this. They fought the elections. The united for. So and, you can see the united we stand. Uh, the divided we fall. That's that's. You are the most united. It's not only one person. Everybody participated. We make sure that we are united. But the, the, rest, the rest, the rest of your supporters in the other regions. Were divided. I think some division happened. In, happened. That's why. That's yes. the cause of. Our and congratulations, yeah, you won Jimara. I mean, President Barrow had to live with uh, the unpleasant feeling of being in the backyard of an opposition MP. You won there. That is. Let me tell you, if he had won throughout the Gambia and, and lost, lost that Jimara, place, he would still he not would, be happy. He would. Have, I would have said that we lost the elections. We lost the, the candidate said we are the president. We are the president. The candidate strong. said the president Barrow went there deliberately to station himself there, <laughs> so so that he can intimidate his supporters. <laughs> he said, so. and Barrow was there for two days or more. Pre yeah. pre president, but, president, but, 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 but he lost but where because, he voted. Huh? He lost where he uh, voted. He lost in yes. yes. <laughs> so so you are right. <laughs> so Jimara was more important to him than. <laughs> all right, now all what he said. What is your perspective on that? The performance of the party. Uh, the tactics that they said they used that didn't work for them, the issue of the independent candidates, uh, you know, and and, 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 and... Yeah, I think he's right to a certain extent that, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the problem is within the NPP itself, mm -hmm. you know, their selection process was definitely quite flawed. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen that um, all those uh, members who were expelled by the UDP and uh, the camp to the NPP, mm -hmm. they decided to select all of them and put them back. And then we've seen that I think that five, mistake, of them, yeah. five of them have lost the elections. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. So, you know, it shows you that uh, something went wrong within yes. their, I mean, their tax, uh, selection tactics. There is no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, uh, URR and the CRR, okay, they have scored. But as you told him, you know, in your introduction, I think uh, the West Coast, uh, KM and Banjul are very, very significant, you know, for any government. And uh, if they have lost those places, 
definitely, I mean, they have no cause to celebrate. Absolutely none. Because, I mean, getting those places up country is one thing, but winning the where the um, majority of the people of the Gambia live mm -hmm. is very, very important. So they've lost all those places, um, apart from just one constituency in, in West Coast. Yeah. I think they definitely have no cause to celebrate. But um, I think his analysis is uh, quite uh, okay. Uh, the problem quite is within fun, the yeah. NPP itself. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess mm -hmm. they would um, uh, address the problem somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about the APRC? He, he addressed that. I, I put it to him that they lost ground because they were having five safe ones. Well, of course, yeah. um, the APRC have definitely lost. I mean, they are losers. Um, uh, the very fact that they've been giving us the impression that, you know, you, they are dealing with insignificant rebels from, from the, within yeah. the we'll party. We'll come to and, that. One and, of those and, rebels, sir. And those, five, those rebels actually <laughs> managed to rest five, <laughs> all the five seats that they held before the elections. Mm -hmm. I mean, it shows you that N, uh, the APRC, honestly, is very much divided. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, so the impression that the uh, Fabakari Tombo Njata, I mean, uh, APRC gave to President Barrow and his government it's not the reality. Mm -hmm. The reality is that, I mean, these uh, so-called rebels are very powerful within the APRC. So Fabakari doesn't definitely control uh, um, the, uh, the vast uh, majority of the members of the APRC, it appears, particularly in the Fonyi area. Mm -hmm. What about NRP? Uh, they, they lost one in Sabak Sanjal. Although Mr. Mbalo said that's reduced down to just a petty, uh, petty disagreement between the candidates. Well, um, it's all possible. I think what happened in the other constituencies is actually probably what happened in the uh, in, in Sabak Sanjal as well. Because I had somebody from Sabak Sanjal saying that they didn't, uh, uh, they didn't, not that they hated the, uh, um, the candidate that was put there by the NRP, mm -hmm. but very fact that NRP itself is yes. leaning on another party. Yes, yes. So to lean on somebody who is leaning on another, yes, on if party. the wind comes, yes. you know, it's going to blow all it's of you. That's that's they, 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 that's thought what that, to they thought that N yes. NRP was definitely not the right party to uh, to vote. Yeah, you, you are aware of the, 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 the man who won the independent candidate, he yes. accused the NRP candidate of uh, using NPP logos and President Barrow's uh, 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 I mean, uh, pictures, uh, and then he complains that okay, you might be in alliance with the NPP, but you are registered as sponsored as an uh, as, a, as 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 NRP. NRP yeah. So, but then of course, uh, uh, <laughs> all just, that doesn't matter now. No. Like Jao said, he won over them. Now, for the chore, for the chore, like I said, is uh, is pioneer member of the APRC. So he's the rebel. Oh, until they split <laughs> over the <laughs> over the reason <laughs> whether to <laughs> whether, or the, until they split uh, over the reason whether to back uh, President Barrow's NPP. We all know, of course, all the upheaval that greeted that decision and Jammes' direct involvement in the campaign in the presidential elections. For their side, that is the APRC NOTO coalition. Um, they all contested independent, but then of course they had a very successful, effective message to their people. Yes. We are independent, but we belong to the APRC NOTO coalition. And it looks like in the Fonis, at least, the message was well received. You scored, you unseated the Fabakari Tombong Jata faction. How much of a satisfaction or, or, or vindication does this give your side when you tell the people that, look, it is definitely we who control the majority of APRC and not Fabakari? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Cham. Um, I'm not going to brag to say I am vindicated. All those of us they call the rebels are vindicated. What we have shown to the Gambian people is the voice of the people matter. You cannot go and join in a coalition, leaving behind the majority or the people that you should go with. Can we explain? You will agree with me that mm -hmm. it is very, very unfortunate to see a party of APRC magnitude mm. to be divided into two, yeah. simply based on opinion and interest. Mm. It is not illegal to do an alliance mm. or a coalition. We've seen it happen. That is how they unseated Yaya yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't illegal for APRC to go into a coalition or an alliance with MPP. But the way and manner that it has been done that is why people didn't agree. Mm -hmm. So when they went, we said the majority didn't follow. But because the incumbent was contesting back as the presidential candidate, mm -hmm. we have seen it. They mm -hmm. all came together. Mm -hmm. When the APRC were going, I wrote a piece and I asked, mm -hmm. don't you think this is going to make APRC members 
mass exodus to join NPP. That was my concern. And this could not be answered. The only thing that I got from him is, let's isolate him, he's not interested. Yes, I have said, I, for the chore, have no powers to stop the APRC from going. But at the time, I don't trust Adam Abaro that he's going to fulfill his promises because of what happened. And that's my bona fide right to say that. <laughs> so that is why I'm a rebel. <laughs> but you can see, um, every political party has got a base. <laughs> and we have a base. APRC is one political party that has got structures all across the country <laughs> until after 2017, after 2016 election, <laughs> when we lost ground. We started losing some of our members to other political parties. Right. But the structures were there. Any village you go to or any town, mm -hmm. you'll find a village chairman, mm -hmm. a village secretary, and something. That's, uh, those organs are there. Are still there. Okay. Yeah. We may lose the support. Mm -hmm. And if we go, it's just a matter of restructuring that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were doing from 2017 to 2020, mm -hmm. before they came to join NPP. NPP okay. And we supported all that. Mm -hmm. We supported Fabakari on that. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to contesting as a party, mm -hmm. the excuse that was given to us that we don't have money, Oh. You, you have given a party to run for five years. You knew after five years there's going to be elections. You cannot put in place a financial structure to be able to contest, contest that election. And you're just telling us we don't have money. Mm. Or actually our membership is reducing to other political parties. Mm. That is one of the, some of the reasons that they gave. Which for me is not genuine. That's why I decided not to join them. Mm. Until there is something that can unite us as one party reconcile us as one party or as one country yes I will, because i have the right to you know to express my opinion well um if you look at the election results mm -hmm. as far as aprc no alliance movement are concerned we are aprc yes we are just no alliance movement yeah. we are not going with those people who went with adam mm -hmm. we contested in 16 constituencies 16 yes um West Coast, yeah. 11, mm -hmm. KMC, 5, mm -hmm. virtually with nothing. No Nobody financial is. support, nobody supporting us, with mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can tell you here, I can disclose it. Mm -hmm. Each of our candidates was given 16,600. Only that? I swear to God. Malo, you, Malo, you, you reportedly gave each 600. Each Malo, how much did you give to each one? No, I'm not going. I'm not going. Four hundred thousand. I'm not going to disclose my finances. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Alle fair allegedly, enough. allegedly said four hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. that's allegedly. Uh, okay. Well. You know, you're looking at, at that perspective. Mm. Our win rate, mm. we we won with nothing, no seat at all. Mm. We won five. Mm. With our uh, percentage of the win rate, if you percentage is that's thirty one percent, right? Mm. Um, those who APRC that went with Adam Abaro mm -hmm. contested in seven constituencies. Yeah. Their win rate is 29%. So mm -hmm. we're still leading them oh, in percentage right. and also on state. Mm -hmm. um, each of them mm -hmm. must have been given something mm -hmm. from the incumbent because obviously they are going to support the agenda of the incumbent. How much did you give the coalition party? <laughs> no, they will not tell you. We have not given Okay, Okay, let's move on. But, but um, if I will quote um, His <laughs> Excellency, the President, he said, um, actually, not president, one of uh, the APRC people said he's not going to blame Adam Abaro mm -hmm. because he has given them equal treatment with all the others, which means if he has given them equal treatment, mm -hmm. then he has given them 400,000 then. I see. But it's not money. Mm -hmm. It's the programs and policies. It's the commitment to the party. Mm -hmm. So those who voted for us, mm -hmm. whether we won or not, it's a commitment. If you look at Latri Kunda constituency, I'll give an example. Mm -hmm. Or you go to Combo South. Mm -hmm. Combo South, we have Babukar FM yes, Koli. A very popular man. Yeah. Famous. And, yeah. And then you look at in uh, Latri Kunda constituency, we have Omar Koli. Mm -hmm. He went into the elections, two weeks campaign, mm -hmm. with 16,600, mm -hmm. and he was able to have 2,000 votes, votes, which means, therefore, he has kept a membership of 2,000 for the non alliance waiting. Mm -hmm which can increase, okay. and looking at his age mm -hmm. as well. The, if you look at, go to Combo South, mm -hmm. Babukar FM Kali mm -hmm. came out almost 50% of what the winner got, 5,000 plus. Mm -hmm. The winner is 10,100. 10, yeah, so you look at it, what is going to happen mm -hmm. in the next election? We are going to groom them, they are young, mm -hmm. they have that advantage, mm -hmm. they are coming up. Mm -hmm. So what, so what, all this, what, um, what is, um, what we can see in this is, mm -hmm. there's a change of narrative in politics. Mm -hmm. 
it's not finance. Mm -hmm. We are soon going to move away mm -hmm. from this rallies that we do, mm -hmm. or using money, because people are, you know, they are being aware. educated, yeah. they are aware. Mm -hmm. Their awareness is, is been, you know, added all the time we have a program, we go out, people are listening to what we are saying, mm -hmm. and so on. They alert us and said, we said we're going to bring Yaya Jami here. <laughs> yes. so that, oh, or remove we, economic or, from or economic. That is not the case, mm -hmm. I can explain. Mm -hmm. When you say, said, um, I'm going to sponsor a bill, mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you're going to take a finance and put money there to sponsor a bill. You, mm -hmm. This man is just trying to say, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and introduce a bill mm -hmm. to the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. It's left to the colleagues. Yeah. It's left to the people there. Yeah. It's left to their awareness yeah. to see if they can take that and enact it into an act of parliament, yeah. Yeah. which will bring him smoothly, yeah. because that's what we're looking for. For example, yeah. if he wants a bill that bans foreign troops in our soil. Exactly. He could indirectly achieve what they want, but that is by exactly. taking economic out of point. Yeah, that is one of his, um, what he wants. Yeah. If he does it, mm -hmm. he fulfills what he wants to say. Yeah. It's up to the National Assembly to accept it. Yeah. Saying that we will try and get the military out of Fony, we are not going to use guns, we are mm -hmm. not going to fight. Mm -hmm. He's just going to write a petition, probably, mm -hmm. to, the, to the president, a campaign, and yeah. ask people to sign. And then take it to the assembly. The mm -hmm. assembly will see because the national assembly there mm -hmm. is not for MPP. No, no, no. The members there are not MPP. No, they no. are not there for APRC. That they is are there one for place. the country. Yeah, yeah exactly. Interest, yeah. And the issue in Fony is not a Fony issue. Fony is not even a region. It's yes. part of a region, yes. a fraction yes. of yes. a region. A couple of districts. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the issues that is happening in Fony, especially in the case of uh, the security issue, mm -hmm. is a national problem. Right. It should not be um, treated as a phony issue. Mm. I think that is one of the reasons mm -hmm. why there is that anger vote. Oh, yeah. People coming yeah. to vote out to show to the people, yeah. enough is yes. enough. Mm. We are pushed to the level whereby mm -hmm. now we are uh, going to choose the people we want. Mm. Somebody spoke yesterday and said, those who, the reason why APRC lost in Fony is tribalism. Yes, they said they accuse you of a fraction of saying, Fabakar is a mandinka, so he's not a... A Lame. dollar, that's why. Well, excuse my words, I never want to do but that's exactly what Lamin, I'm a serious. My mother is a serious. My father is a serious. Indeed. I'm born and bred in Lamin. Mm -hmm. I can speak Mandinka better than Serious. Although I can you speak. You better said some Mandinka. Yeah, exactly, some Mandinka. <laughs> yes. All right? Yeah. My wife is a fuller. It doesn't count yet. Yeah. I, I know. I, I don't, I, I, sorry, Jola, I don't, I don't think mm -hmm. someone will see me and label me as a tribe. No, 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 but no. now, how can you remove Nyasi <laughs> and put their Jiva and, and you call that tribe? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. If you remove a nyasi and put, bring to that. Put in jiva, <laughs> and that is still tribalist. <laughs> well, Faba, undermining Faba, they said undermining Fabakari's um, leadership. Mm. I swear to God, Fabakari will never say this. Mm. It's been said by someone who is very disparate and cannot defend himself. Yeah, but if you don't agree with him, you are, yeah. you are, you are, you are virtually undermining him. Like no, you. When, when somebody said... You, you rebelled know. against him and took all his seats. Yeah, because, because I don't agree mm -hmm. with the fact that they are going to the end. It is ah, my opinion. That, that's the only agreement. Yeah. Okay, now... Now that all this has passed, Fabakari has been elevated to the job of speaker, yeah. an influential position. People are wondering now, isn't it time now for the APRC to come together? E, don't you think that is a valid suggestion for you to work on coming together now, you know, so that, you know, the mighty APRC that is known can now, can now you know, use the, this momentum that Fabakari has to, to, to rebuild. Well, do you think there are, if, if it is not possible, what are the problems that will not make it possible? Um, um, in politics, you don't say never. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe in the jargon that people say mm -hmm. there is no permanent enemy but permanent interest. I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. What I believe in, mm -hmm. politics, politics is all about giving people hope, mm -hmm. yeah. not looking at your interests. Principles, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. um, I cannot say that we cannot sit around the table and discuss mm -hmm. to resolve the problem of APRC. Mm -hmm. um, but that depends entirely on the leadership of the non-alliance mm -hmm. and the APRC and the went yeah, exactly. And 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 yeah, Jamme in the equatorial And that that is the the the, the brunch. That's the, the, that's, that that's is the, the crunch. crunch. That's the crunch of that the matter. That is the matter. That's the crunch of the matter. I because see. Yaya Jamme, in as much as he's in equatorial Guinea, mm -hmm. is equally important in APRC. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have seen that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the there is miscommunication, mm -hmm. there's breakdown of communication mm -hmm. between them, mm -hmm. which I don't want to be labeled here, mm -hmm. because as far as I'm concerned, that should be something to be discussed. Yeah, because one, many people think that you there is still a room for the kid to come together. Yes, no, of course, even for Bakari, when he was interviewed very first, very first time when he came to to be a speaker, yeah. he virtually said things that he said. 
yeah. when they were together. Yeah. So it, it, it means that he has not departed very much from what you, all of you together, believe in. So the only problem might be this coalition and, uh, and not this coalition. Individually, um, as, um, I've worked with Papa Kari merely 2017 till when they went. Mm -hmm. Closely, closely. I they mean. said you went. Yeah, closely. Yeah, uh -huh. whatever, closely. <laughs> okay. And um, I must be honest, he's a very intelligent person. Mm -hmm. People may say things against him or they pick up some point and say, oh, he was one of the people who actually introduced a bill emergency bill. Yeah, to that's to right, to extend the government. Probably at the time mm -hmm. when he did it, it was necessary. Yeah. Probably at the time. He couldn't do otherwise. He couldn't do otherwise. Mm -hmm. But he got nothing mm -hmm. against anyone. Mm -hmm. He's frank. Mm -hmm. He will tell you how he feels. Mm -hmm. You cannot question his intelligence yeah. and you cannot question his experience as mm -hmm. far as politics yeah. is concerned. Yeah, but at this point in time, what I'm asking myself is, mm -hmm. he's made Speaker of the National Assembly. Yeah. Um, could have been somebody Neutral, more neutral, neutral, more neutral. Than yeah. him we'll come to actually that. Actually, virtually showing his well, hundred percent support, support to the president. president yes. But um, among the five nominated, mm -hmm. you cannot also doubt mm -hmm. that he should, he, he's the one who should be the um, he uh, should, speaker he because should. he has twenty years of experience, experience. as a parliamentarian yeah. and um, obviously involved in most of the laws that are postulated in this country, either yeah. at the start, in right. the middle, or at the end. At the end. And this, those are the laws still we are using. Yes. So obviously. Um, no one will say he, he, he can't be. I'm speaker. only five. But what is what is important? Whether he will be able to execute neutrality, his duty neutrally, mm -hmm. independently, yeah. in the interest of the country, without looking back at uh, yeah. the boss. That's, that's where you think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. do you expect your no to coalition independence? Well, uh, some one of them has said over his dead body, crossing over. To the NPP, uh, I, I mean, what would they say? Allegiance. Um, like I said, there are many factors why he was talking like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did our primaries. Uh, actually, we did our selection, mm -hmm. and we looked at those who pe pe those people who are committed to the APRC mm -hmm. and committed to the cause of okay. the non-alliance. Non -alliance. So, so, you know, so, so, so there is no, there is no, there is, there is no room, there is no room for, no. Such, for such things. Yeah, there is they no room for that. They will defend the national interest. They will, that's that, in fact, that's the first thing that we tell them. Mm -hmm. To be a national assembly member, yeah. your first duties and responsibility mm -hmm. is your country first. First. Laws that are going to be postulated, yeah. that are going to be enacted at the national assembly, is good, should affect everyone. Mm -hmm. But at this point in time, if mm -hmm. you look at it, mm -hmm. even the government, mm -hmm is taking less interest mm -hmm. as to what is happening to certain people of the sector of the country. Mm -hmm. As a result, mm -hmm. they will have to express mm -hmm. their protest vote. Protest votes, yeah. And um, in Combo, uh, the same thing. It's just yep. the, the voter, uh, if you look at uh, what's happening in uh, Combo South. Combo South, for example. Yeah, the, the coastal um, areas yeah. and so on and so forth. So you want to say that uh, uh, actually the, voting, the, the amount of the voting also reflected the people's feelings about the government, the economic hardship, and of it, course, it, especially in the phone is the alleged non-interest of the government to, 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 to resolve the matters that are there. All this you said uh, are, are what reflected in the votes. Lamin, the power of, of incumbent is very important. Mm -hmm. But look at the swing areas. Mm -hmm. When MPP came after the presidential elections, mm -hmm. you look at it, they won mm -hmm. 45 constituencies. Yeah. The presidential, they won 45. 45 right? Minus 18 from 45, they lost they all. lost almost entirely. That cannot all be because, because of, of voter apathy or apathy independent no, no. or selection problems, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Bar. You know, and you look at mm -hmm. the area, mm -hmm. I'm not saying with due respect to all across the country, mm -hmm. but if you look at it, what is happening in the urban area, the activities, the yeah. economic activities, activities yeah. you know, lack of employment, yeah. lack of security, mm -hmm. and all and, and the sophistication and maturity of the voters. Of the voters, exactly. In the area. Yeah, yeah. in the area. Mm -hmm. It also um, played a great role. Played red, yes. The, the president, mm -hmm. according to the people of Bandung, mm -hmm. they requested 800,000. Yes. They gave them 2 million. 2 million. They lost the election. They lost with 2 million. It's not money. And even the, they said even the ministers from Bandung yeah. added each. each, each 100,000. 100, so 2.7 million. Yeah. They said. And they apart from that, they got seven <laughs> appointed ministers from Mi Bandung. From Bandung. Yet they lost. That couldn't have been selection process, Mr. You, you, com you come to Serekunda, uh, KMC, uh -huh. KMC, yeah. um, the like of, um, he was UDP, but very influential, 
and he's now MPP. Uh, Unda Nyango. Unda. Yeah. Even the influence of in Unda, Unda alone could not give them a seat. He lost in his constituency. Exactly. In Serakunda West. Now you go to Bakau. Mm -hmm. Where the oh, well, that, the that person had, that no. had always been a no go area. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I, I want to say this. <laughs> yes. It's a coalition yeah. of APRC NPP. Yes. Where someone who's alleging also mm. being tribalist yeah. can't even win that seat yeah. at, on, at your own bargain. Yeah, then you come to Stalinding, yeah. where the co coalition is very strong. Yes. They lost at their they own lost. bargain. Yes, yes. That is the headquarters of, uh, of, of the party leader. It's like what he said if President Barrow was to lost in Jimara, exactly. he, he would have been a big loss. So Fabaka lost. Uh, in, but then, of course, Fabaka can argue that they wanted the NPP to let APRC contest that area. But they have been alleged. They made a mistake. They did not agree with them to contest in that area. The APRC, Fabaka could have won that area. Not we, so. we, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let, let me observe but something. But he didn't express any interest to contest. I think you didn't allow them Fabaka. to. Me, you it, wanted to protect Fatma Jawara. Uh, that's what they said. Well, th those are just papers. Okay, let, uh, okay. Okay. let me help you yeah, here. No okay, go ahead. Do you respect that. to Mr. Mbalo? Mm -hmm. He did say it's about, you know, disagreement within themselves, I know, but mm -hmm. he didn't want to talk about other issues. Mm -hmm. no, okay. But one yes. of the other issues is there is a very big difference between them and their, the people who they have the alliance with. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Because there is that anger being expressed about allowing APRC. Yeah, and the alliance said publicly, yeah. sorry, the APRC Fabaker yeah, said, said publicly that you did not collaborate with yeah, them yeah. as you did in the presidential election. In the presidential election. They said that. Yeah, that, that's what that's, I want to come to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can, can I learn? Can I finish yeah, this yeah, point? Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, because they yeah, said yeah. that, mm -hmm. it convinced me that it is true because mm -hmm. otherwise, mm -hmm. if you look at it, you know, they've, they've been challenging and even Fabaker in an interview said, MPP put of candidates, yeah. independent candidate, yeah. where they put of candidates. Exactly. They, they are, that yeah, exactly. That so if yeah. you look at it, yeah. one, one of the examples will be in Talending mm -hmm. and then in Fonis. Do you understand? Okay. But why is that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Why, why you, is that? So know. there is something going wrong what? that they don't want they us don't to tell want. us. <laughs> Council. All right. Uh, so what, what, no, we'll come back to Council, yes. Give us your independent perspective on the performance of the NPP, the UDP, the APRC. And uh, the NOTO coalition, APRC. As well as, in fact, we forgot the PPP. They had only one, you allowed them only one, they lost that too. They <laughs> don't exist. That's <laughs> why MPP is going to swallow all these parties. Swallow all the parties. And that's why we, APRC, said no. Refuse to do that. Yeah, one of them. Um, I think um, uh, overall, if you look at it, um, it's like a protest vote, I mm -hmm. would call it. Mm -hmm. um, NPP, to be candid, they got a disappointment. They are disappointed mm -hmm. by. Uh, the implication of um, looking at the investment, the financial aspect of what they spend, mm -hmm. and then just barely three months from presidential election, if you look at the performance in the presidential election, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it is a disappointing result for NPP. Um, UDP, to some extent also, they lose ground. They lost ground from yeah. 31 to, 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 let's to, say, 15, 16. 15, 16 yeah. Yes, so, and then you have the independence. I, I don't call them, uh, it's, it's a relative term to call them independence mm -hmm. because they all have um, a connection somewhere. Mm -hmm. They all have a political godfather. Mm -hmm. They all emanated from, I call them splinter actors. Splinter <laughs> actors. So, so, so obviously, uh, there will be, uh, you know, and you'll see that, you'll, that will be reflective of what is going to be the new outlook of the house. Mm -hmm. You'll see that uh, very shortly, you'll see that uh, what is happening in the house mm -hmm. because there will be that competition between NPP and the main opposition party, UDP, to get the attention of the splinter actors. Mm -hmm. It depends on who sponsored who, because some independents were even sponsored by political parties. So I guess. So this is the reality on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and, and uh, for NPP, they lost ground too, um, from five to four. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, APRC. Now you mean APRC? No, NPP, NRP, NRP, sorry, NRP. And NPP, APRC, as he said, I think they have something to be proud of. At least they have achieved something. The leadership of APRC went with Fabakari, mm -hmm. but the base, the, you know, you know, the foot soldiers yeah. remained. Yeah. And then Fabakari was unable to convince those people mm -hmm. because there were so many push and pull, and there were so many communicators from here, between here and Equatorial Guinea. Mm -hmm. We all witnessed that mm -hmm. shortly before the presidential election. Mm -hmm. There were so many interference, mm -hmm. and then which also led how the results went. Mm -hmm. So that has an influence on the results too. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, you mentioned something about uh, lack of primary, that is internal mm -hmm. coordination within the NPP. Mm -hmm. But there are more to that. There are external forces also, mm -hmm. factors that affect NPP's performance. Such as? Such as um, the economic hardship mm -hmm. is one of it. 
and people are showing it's like I said, it's a protest vote. Mm. And people are saying that look, like he always said, the president, you can own the party, but you cannot own the people. Mm. So this is exactly what people express in the vote. That is reflection that's it's reflection of what people really want. Mm. And and uh, that's what I've seen in the in the in the, in the overall uh, performance of the uh, you know of the results. Okay. Yes. We we will come to the final topic, which is denominations. But now where you you take away where we left you we were talking about banjul we, we, we talk about uh, mr chor talk about uh, yeah. he talk about equal treatment mentioned about equal treatment exactly and i think um i should uh, definitely make um yes uh, clarify the, on those the points FERC, that uh, FERC if, if said. he said he added that mr yeah. chor added that mm -hmm. the mpp received four hundred thousand. <laughs> yes. he said that's, that's he said, he said he he said, if that is the case, yes, he said if that's the case, if, yeah. then APRC, which is an ally, ah, and they are saying they are fairly, MPP, they are equal and there was, I mean, yes. a, a, a fair, a fairly treatment. Ah. That means APRC you has must have got the yeah. that, For that one, mm -hmm. I cannot. There is nowhere on the record mm -hmm. that indicate that mm -hmm. APRC mm -hmm. alien mm -hmm. we are giving four hundred thousand. Ah. I how should would, make that very clear. Here. But they are giving something. What, what, what I'm what I'm telling you is there is nowhere in the case of they, we, they receive support. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. Moral support. But not we as gave, big as NPP. We gave them moral support. Mm -hmm. all, not and financial. also definitely we gave them some financial support. Yeah. But I cannot authenticate. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I cannot say mm -hmm. it's 400,000. Wow. Yeah, that's fine. Right. But it's given. Money is given to that them. They support. You cannot ally with somebody, support somebody without giving him financial support. Yeah, Even a penny, you cannot do that. Okay. Yeah, but but, <laughs> but, if, but the amount we are with the amount yeah. they, they, they invested in. Yeah, yeah, I was very clear. And also, and I you are very okay, let, let, me, let me come exactly. also. Let me come. You know, let me finish. Campaign finance. Campaign finance. Okay. Yes, yes. Campaign it's coming finance. up now. Yes. Okay. Also, he mentioned about the army. Um, about um, the government lack of. Paying attention, yeah, yeah. Um, to, to so the, people so the of voters Kodi. felt that the government probably they were not, neglected. Yeah, La, yeah, Lamin Cham, okay. can I make something clear? I didn't say NPP negligent. I said governments. Government, yeah. Yes. Okay. Governments, because this, it's yes. not MPP's responsibility. Uh, MPP is a political party. Yeah. It's yeah. the government uh, responsibility. Only that. And the government that was, sorry. Let, let me point make this clear. The yeah. government that was there, mm. 2017 to the time of election, was a coalition government mm. headed by today. Mm -hmm. They are very. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, party leader. Mm -hmm. So at this moment, there is a thin line between mm -hmm. MPP's government mm -hmm. and uh, because they inherited all that problem. Mm -hmm. So they cannot refuse it. But I didn't say NPP did not okay. do it. Okay, I said fine. the government. Now that's fine. Only, only that the government was in contest. It's the NPP who contest. So it's got to separate them. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, that's that's clear. Okay. That's clear. He talked about also the he talked about also the independent candidates. Mm -hmm. I know. I think Mr. Chor mentioned about the independent. Uh, yeah, independent. Are, he said allegations are that yeah. uh, you know. You, you NPP planted independence. We planted some independence. Yes. I did not say Fabakar said. No, it's an allegation. Oh, Fabakar said. In in fact, interview, it was said. Yeah, even the even the opposition. Some supporters said. Let, let me tell you, mm -hmm. that is not from the party. Oh, this yeah. is independent candidate. It's not from the party. We have not sponsored any independent. We were right. strictly on warning your, the on people to stick onto a, a, a party yeah, members. Yeah, yes. Because I remember Hamad uh, Bass. Even the president said it. Even, even some Hamad Bass said Some it. of the independent candidates were not happy. Mm. When the president said independent candidate is some uh, is, yeah, is Hamad, people Hamad who have no father. Hamad Bass said they are worse Hamad than Bass said they are worse than UDP. Than I think that was a clear message. Yes. On the open. On the not media. only is it so worse than UDP. People to come and say we sponsored independent yeah, but undermine our But it's your coalition partners who made the allegation. Yeah. Well, well, they, I mean, that is freedom of opinion. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I'm talking to you, okay. officer, That's as, no such as somebody, thing as somebody no such who, thing you know, mm -hmm. I'm telling you about our stand, the stand mm -hmm. of the Secretary General of mm -hmm. MPP mm -hmm. and also the party, mm -hmm. that we were not undermined, we were not supporting somebody on that. Right. Although we cannot stop, mm -hmm. we cannot know you people of people, membership of our party mm -hmm. who were doing that. Ah, okay. We cannot know mm -hmm. and we cannot stop them. It might have happened mm -hmm. with unknowingly mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is officially mm -hmm. that was not our stand yes, right. i make that very clear okay, okay. what about banjul they, okay. they, they said a lot of money was 2.7 million it also 2.7 yes. that's what they, not the, them they, this is the supporters of npp who called the press well, conference well, banjul. well what i'm telling you is what lurunjai was the one in fact who's what what i'm telling you is in banjul mm -hmm. we all know mm -hmm. i said it here that people our own people you see that that is that is one example of what i was saying that our own people 
went into this agreement. I see. People were expressing their grievances. That's what happened. And they were undermining each other. I so see. I would not be surprised if somebody come out and make, a, make an audio, audio and say we gave them 3 million, wow. we gave them 20 million. Point of observation, it's, it's not a, an audio, it's a press, press conference. conference. Press, press conference yeah, and the press conference, the press conference, yes. Conference. They, they yeah. call themselves oh. National Youth and that's Women's. Not, that's not the chairman. Youth, that's not the chairman. The, the chairman, the chairman, the chairman is by, by gay. They, no, said, they, they were very yeah. critical of the chairman. Was he by gay? No, no, no. no, no. Well, these are, that's these are people very critical of Mr. the chairman. If we disagree, I can allege anything on you. Yes. Ah, okay. It depends whether it can be factual. They oh, made a lot of allegations against the Biden. Yeah, exactly. But that's why I said to you, uh, we had a problem. I think from, from my introduction, I said yeah. we had a problem among our, among our own leadership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is in, in those areas. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what I say. Yeah, yeah. That being the case, mm -hmm. uh, we are not surprised hearing a lot of people making conferences, audios, mm -hmm. insulting each other, alleging me, somebody is giving money. Yeah. I, I didn't see the money. Yes, but true. that was not the position of the party. Mm -hmm. That didn't come from the party. These yep. two million you are counting here, mm -hmm. these are this we are all these are news to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, they might have received it from our our, our sympathizers, oh. fi financers somewhere oh. who is a sympathizer of the MPP. Mm -hmm. But the MPP as the party, the we MPP. have not given them two million. Okay. They said the I minister, can make that very ministers country, ministers native uh, ministers who, who have come from Banjul gave each hundred thousand. So they to them. Point, yeah. Yes, two, so, seven, uh, two, two points. They, are trying, uh, they said uh, that was given to the committee. Uh, they that's what I'm it. telling you. They are fighting with my game. I know. Because they don't like my game. I so know. they are alleging that my game was pocketing the money. Whoever brought yeah. money, ministers or sympathizers, financiers, he was the, with his committee. They were pocketing the money. <laughs> they didn't see the money. Yeah. So those. those those are. Those are but alleged, did you analyze. The, differences but in did the you process. analyze what could have happened in Banjul then? What, what, what went wrong in Banjul? You what happened it? is from the selection. They ah. did it, they were not, they were all not in line okay, with, the party, okay. with the people who were selected. Okay, okay, okay. So therefore, some of them opted to go with the independent candidate, some opted to go even with the opposition, up to the extent, angry, executive, executive members of MPP. Went with the opposition? And we are hearing allegations. That they went with the opposition? Yes, we are hearing allegations that they were supporting people who, who, who are in the opposition. Oh, that's that's quite serious. So that's what happened. I think it must be clear. And they said they are just angry because of the selection or the person, the right person is I, not selected. I, I, I they are angry I, and they did that. So there's to, no commitment fair, of your members in Banjo. the NPP too, they actually contested only two constituencies in Banjo. The third one, they let that for PPP. And yeah. the PPP lost that. Because we honored, let me tell you, my, um, let me tell you Mr. Chan. Momo Dundao. Yes, okay. we have um, Mom and Dao. Mm -hmm. You see, His Excellency mm -hmm. President Arabaro, honor his word. Mm -hmm. These are people, APRC people, mm -hmm. have been with us. Mm -hmm. NRP, yeah, we are with us. PPP, we are with us, mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. from the day go of the presidential election. Yes. And definitely. Yeah. To avoid killing this party, because if he had stopped them from, if he had post candidates, yeah, they would have said, would have said to, the day they wanted to kill our party. To kill our party. Yes, yes. Now they are putting candidates, and they are the incumbent. Everywhere. That we are not powerful, we are not financially strong. Mm. Uh, to avoid that, mm. HEC say, we are going to give, we are not challenging each other. Mm -hmm. We will give a PPP mm -hmm. position. Uh, in fact, they wanted, they wanted two in Banjul. We will give them areas where they think mm. they can capture. They wanted we, we will give APRC also, APRC. Mm. They have been working with us. Mm -hmm. We will give them areas where they feel mm -hmm. they can capture. They said they wanted more, but you, you did not allow them to contest. Yes, more, we, we limited them to seven. Yes. Even, se even the two, that's Bundum and uh, Joshua, yeah. we never wanted them to have it. Yes. It was a big disagreement it among our We said no. So they were right that you did not collaborate with them? No, what I'm telling, what I'm telling you is, what I'm telling you, Bundum, mm -hmm. Bundum and Joshua, mm -hmm. when they came, to, first they were offered five constituencies, that is the phonies. Yes. The first offer. I'm telling you about yeah. the first yes, offer. Yes, yes, And yes. also PPP was offered. NRP was offered with their uh, uh, candidates, with Sanjala their incumbent. And the, uh, Sanjala and the Salom, yes. yes. And the but then APRC came back mm -hmm. to us yeah. to demand. They said they feel mm -hmm. they can win just one. Just one. They feel they can win Bundu. Bundu. Mm -hmm. Some of our people say, but I mean, they already, we, we have already give, made, them, made an offer. Mm -hmm. We have made an offer giving them five mm -hmm. for four years. Mm -hmm. Why is it that they're coming out? Mm -hmm. The Secretary General Party leader say, listen, mm -hmm. let's give it to them. Okay, okay. Let's give it to them. If they feel mm -hmm. they can get it, let us not be seen as we are obstructing them or we are limiting, uh, limiting them. Mm -hmm. If they can win the seats, APRC, mm -hmm. under APRC, mm -hmm. why not? This is how they got five, seven. 
Okay. So, so in, fact, in, fact, in fact, we now got confirmation that two million is not an allegation. In fact, it's confirmed by the chairman, Baige, that President Barrow gave him two million for the campaign. He, 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 he made that uh, admission to Kerfat. So it's no longer an allegation. By, by, the, um, by Gay, the chairman of the uh, Banjul, uh, Central, uh, Banjul, uh, Banjul Regional Committee of the NPP, confirmed to Kerfato that President Barrow gave them two million for the campaign. So it's no longer an allegation. He gave them two million. Two million for the, for the campaign. I so, cannot. So, I, if, I, so if those uh, ministers were supposed to have done each 100,000, so maybe that Durunjai was right. Who, they got gave them, who, he said, who gave them? By Gay said to Kerfato that Barrow gave them two million. That, I am not aware of that. Yeah. I have not had that in the executive during our executive mm, meeting. Right. I and have not had any region mm. that has received two million. Kerfato said, yeah, by, by, they caught in by. Maybe you are busy. What <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, Lamin, I want to observe something. Mm. We are hearing the same language mm -hmm. that they allege us. Mm. When something is done during the Jame days, they will say, Jame said, mm. Jame did this. I... And so he's turned out to be alleged as what? You named uh, it. Oh, I see. A dictator. So you want to say that? He's trying to say I am, that. I am, I am it's quoting. Not, it's not no, all, it's no, no, no. It's allow me. All that is, I mean, I'm on it's my left. I think Mr. Thor is trying to defend. Back. He's going back very bad. He's trying to defend the <laughs> undefendable. <on defense, laughs> no, I wanted to I wanted to quote him. Because depending, depending what happened think, in the past year, I think, you know, I think my colleagues are listening. Jamie is not aware. You know, I don't think we are. You know, you know, you know, you know, Fode is now putting on a whole collective APRC sir now. <laughs> it's Ambalo. I wanted to quote Mr. Ambalo. He now said, "Although no, we are friends, yes, 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 we are allied with yes, the yes, yes, yes. We are working hand in hand. Yes, but, um, but there, not are certain things, there are certain things uh, on the side of human rights violation. No, I would not like to talk about. I would not agree with that. Honestly, now putting on a, no. uh, on a complete <laughs> APRC side now. Honestly, 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 I wanted to say this. I just want to quote Mr. Ambalo, and I'll quote him right. He said. The president said mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. He's very fair. He does this, he does that. Yeah. I was listening to him. Okay. But if, for example, Mr. Jao now become president and said, Mr. Jao said this, mm -hmm. I am now taking out here, Ajame, and this, mm -hmm. he will be labeled as a dictator. <laughs> but when the president said this, uh. yeah, uh, President Barrow did this, he's very fair. President, you know, all the credit going to him, he's not a dictator. <laughs> but I just want to, I'm very glad that mm -hmm. he has confirmed. Now, well, he, he now yeah, Mr. Frankly. Barrow has confirmed frankly. now uh -huh. that actually mm -hmm. there was an issue with the selection, not only primaries, but yeah. the fact that they don't even allow APRC mm -hmm. to contest more than five. Yes. But they have to end up negotiating negotiate. to get it. Yeah. That in itself mm -hmm. has not given APRC who joined them the voice, mm -hmm. the freedom mm -hmm. to be able to express themselves properly. But the APRC said, let me tell you how that came. Let me make that clarification. Let's let's exhaust his yes. point. Let me come. Yes. Yes. I, wa I want to make that yes. point yes. Sure, sure, to, yes. to clarify sure. how that came uh, about. Mm -hmm. the, the reason why, because I am always on the social media. You don't mm -hmm. pick everything that is in the social media and say. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it is alleged that they are given. Two million, and I can tell you that that is true because mm. it's confirmed yeah. by the chairperson. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you got that information, I'm happy because yeah. yeah. I don't want to allege anybody. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, but it's what I'm saying here is, when we are in the campaign mm -hmm. during the campaign period, mm -hmm. um, APRC put up um, um, a release, mm -hmm. you know, to say they are contesting in five constituency, and that is only Se four years. Se was it was it was it, was it the or, or because I the one I've known know, know about it seven isn't it? No no no. They or they originally yeah. five. Okay. That was not put in. in oh, initially okay. So because we are also critics to our own APRC colleagues, mm -hmm. we said now look at them. Mm -hmm. They are saying we are traveling. Mm -hmm. We are contesting in Pony. We are telling the Pony people this, mm -hmm. but they have no other place except to come and contest in Pony. Pony okay. So after two or three days, yeah. we saw another release ah. which says that they are going to contest. Uh, in Bundung, uh, and Bundung, yeah. Bundung and Joshua. And Bundung, Bundung, I'm coming there, yeah. Bundung mm -hmm. obviously the winner in Bundung, mm -hmm. Dizatri, when he was a councillor, Suleiman, Suleiman, he worked very hard for the people, mm -hmm. regardless of your political affiliation. Mm -hmm. And I will, I, um, I'll be very surprised to see him losing that, that, that seat. Mm -hmm. And when you come to um, Joshua, Joshua mm -hmm. uh, I don't know Sirif Sar. Sirif Sar very well, but mm -hmm. I knew he's uh, a contractor and he's involved in community mm -hmm. uh, um, job. So obviously, of, of course, they, 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 they went into the contest on the ticket of the APRC, their mm -hmm. APRC mm -hmm. candidate. But um, we will still say it's the influence of the APRC. But mm -hmm. what is very important here, mm -hmm. one, the NPP, uh, they lose the election because people protested 
what is happening in the country. Okay. It's not only because of the selection, selection process. Lamin, today, mm -hmm. as I speak to you, there are certain issues that happen in the country mm -hmm. that we are giving blind eye. Mm -hmm. And the people are watching. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah? I see. Um, if you look at the security in it holistically, mm -hmm. we have an issue. Yeah. It is the coalition government headed by the, present, uh, the president of MPP now mm -hmm. who talked about uh, security reform. Yeah. Yeah? Um, although they say they've done it, no, but well, do, they they do, do it. have an effect mm. on the on, on on the country. Mm -hmm. You look at the uh, hot pursuit. Mm -hmm. You look at the hot pursuit agreement. Mm -hmm. This was signed between the two countries. Mm -hmm. Of course, security matters. We, we we interested in that. Yeah. But um, it seems as it's one sided. As far as we are concerned, mm -hmm. it seems as they placed the Senegalese in the Gambia mm -hmm. to be able to police their forest or their country mm -hmm. in our country, no country, which is detrimental to the stability, the mm -hmm. peace and stability of the country. Well, country okay. So that is not a phony issue, it's not a combo issue, it's a national issue. Mm -hmm. We need to look at it. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about people going to the Kasama to buy um, timber or whatever. Mm -hmm. That is natural resources that we can grow here. Mm -hmm. If people have listened, uh, if people have listened to the former government, mm -hmm. where they said every Gambian should grow a plant. plant Today, it. those uh, 20 years on, mm -hmm. we would have been you know, benefiting from those trees. Timba, yeah. If you look at the uh, the geographical location of Fony and Kasama going down to Bissau. Mm -hmm. we, are the we have the same link, the same people, the same culture, mm -hmm. same land. Yeah. We knew that the here is our border mm -hmm. between Senegal and Kasama. Why can the Gambia grow tree two kilometers from the border inside mm -hmm. to act as a buffer zone mm -hmm. so that people don't go into Kasama for that? We have to find problems. We, we've been alleged that Yaya Jame was doing the rosewood business in Kasama. Mm -hmm. It's still not stopping. We've seen containers and yeah, containers yeah. Mm -hmm. been shipped to uh, China. Yeah. And uh, Jame, um, do and we have another Yaya Jame? And Jame had gone since five yeah. years ago. Yeah. Six do years. Do you have another Yaya Jame in Pony? Oh, no. Well, oh, is Yaya Jame still doing the business in from Equatorial Guinea? Ah, well, that's Who is giving the land to both those people, the Chinese, to do that? Gambia it's government. a own Gambian government. Yeah. So the issue is not mm. Pony. The issue is not NPP. The issue is not PPP. The issue is the yeah. Gambia government. We, it's, our, it's our issue. We have to look at it mm -hmm. holistically mm -hmm. and find a solution. Yeah. If bringing the Senegalese into the country mm -hmm. is going to cause instability, yeah. why don't you review that? Them, yeah. It's not only re you review it yeah. and look at it mm -hmm. in the interest of the country because we are a sovereign state. Mm -hmm. It is the duty and responsibility of the, con uh, of the uh, government mm -hmm. to protect the territorial integrity of the country and its sovereignty. Mm -hmm. When you talk about that, it's not the, bound, the border. It's yeah. about the people. It's about the people. And that is lacking. I'm not saying they are not doing it. It's lacking. So those are issues. So, yes, no, you, you have a point of clarification. Well, I have some, a point of clarification. Mm. That is, um, he mentioned about how, how the five, uh, whether we offered five or seven, mm. how that came about, yeah. I must make clarification. Mm -hmm. For, at the beginning, yes. these part, coalition partners were at, where <laughs> they are comfortable and they feel they would win. Mm. And they made us to believe that Fony, mm -hmm. like APRC, yeah. for the Fony five, mm -hmm. is going to under the APRC, people of Fony can secure that. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. We believe, and, and we, we trusted them. Yes. This are Fony. Mm -hmm. This is Fony issue. Yes. If you people, are, you people are from, if you are APRC mm -hmm. and from Fony, yeah. you will get your seat. Okay. We offer them that one. All right. It was after they came, and mm -hmm. we asked NRP. NRP said the five seats. That's if no we problem. leave them with those fi five MPs, yeah, they, will they will get them back. They will get them. Yeah. We said, take it. Take that, yeah. PPP, mm. they gave us that seat. They, they wanted they are, two, actually. They, they, wanted, they said comfortable they will win these two. Yeah, two. But people were doubtful mm. that whether they would be able to win the two. two yeah. That's why we came up with the 100% that we feel they mm. will win, mm. we gave them that That's one. Mohammed. And they lost. Which they lost. It was after APRC came again, and said after consultation, yeah. they came to us again, and telling said. us that mm. they feel mm -hmm. if they are giving these two also, yeah. that is Bundu and, and this one, Joshua. also they will get it. Mm. They say give him. If they feel mm. they would get all these seven, mm. why not? Give it to them. This is how this thing came. Okay. And what we ask all our coalition partners who are comfortable, where are you comfortable, comfortable. to win? I see. Because we don't want to lose. I but know. also we want we don't want to be seen as challenging you where you are comfortable winning. That's mm -hmm. what happened here. Okay. I, I think that is very clear. clear. Coming back to this, uh, coming back to the uh, security reform, mm -hmm. we have a problem, mm -hmm. and uh, this government cannot be blamed. Um, people, have, this government have to be given chance. Mm -hmm. We all know what happened, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Cham, in the past 20, uh, 20 years of APRC in this country, mm -hmm. uh, twenty two years of this country, mm -hmm. the lack of security, mm -hmm. the human rights violation. Mm -hmm. Even in the army, mm -hmm. 
how many army officers we are killed during the 20 years. That's why sometimes I don't even speak on security. I don't want to talk because I would. Uh, um, I, I yes. want the people, the country, to re to heal, to, to mm, heal. To heal yeah. I want this country to unite and reconcile. Okay. We. Th that's why we are working systematically to make sure that we do the right thing, mm. and that we cannot do the right thing without this, the presence of these people. Otherwise, we are getting back to the same thing. Same because thing. do we? Do, do, do he know mm -hmm. what grievances some of those army officers have among each other in the army? Mm -hmm. He will not know it. I will not know it. Mm -hmm. So if he leave them there, what of, if there is a problem again? Mm -hmm. Are we not going to call this? We all, we all know what happened here in, uh, 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 in 1981, put it down. Okay. Who, uh, who saved us? Mm -hmm. It was these Senegalese, Senegalese and other foreign forces. Mm -hmm. They saved our Gambian people. They were running. People were dying. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. 2000 and, uh, 2016, mm. we all seen Mr. Chan what happened here to our innocent Gambian people. Mm -hmm. People were chased out of this country. Mm -hmm. Political, innocent political uh, politicians were kicked out of this country. Mm -hmm. People died outside and they were refused coming uh, their bodies to be brought here, like Kukon Sambasanya mm -hmm. and also Bubakar Bande. Mm -hmm. And we claim that we, we, we had a leader and government. Mm -hmm. Do we want that to happen in this country anymore? Never again. So to do that, let us let them allow us to work with our international partners to make sure that this country, wherever these people live, we are secured and our democracy is solidified. It is solid. Gambian people, we will never have a dictatorship. We will never have a reputation of what happened here. This, okay. is, this is the message. Can I say something? Yeah, no, can, yeah. I, no, no, can I say no, we'll one person, one person, please? Yeah. Uh. All that he said is wrong. Mm, why? He, he admitted that it's wrong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The killing, mm -hmm. the arrest, yeah. whatever, yeah. is wrong. On the jump, okay. Yes, eh? yeah. it's yeah. wrong, is it? They were rampant on the Okay, jump. it's wrong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who is correct? It? The people we have given the executive powers to do it. That's what we are doing now. Yeah. That's why we have a security okay. reform. Is are you work. correcting it? That's what we are trying to correct. Okay. And we don't want to... We but don't want to don't about the security reform. Democracy is not an easy fix. Mm. It's not a quick fix. Okay. Yao, <laughs> let, let's have Yao. <laughs> yeah, um, just a little bit of clarification on the independence here. Mm -hmm. Because I heard the uh, killing guy talking about the majority of Yes, they, they belong to the yes. yes, you said that. He also, well, somehow alluded to About it. five, you said five or six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you look at it, independence had 12. 12, yeah. Take the five from police, definitely yeah. they are not NPC. Uh, no, those people, you can you can. Seven. 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 Then and the one, the, the UDP man. And the Bundu. The UDP. The in, in Banjo. The UDP I in uh, 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 Busumbala. Yeah. That independent in Busumbala. That's what I'm saying. Who in Banjo? Yeah. Who are definitely, that's seven. And then you have one in Busumbala who is definitely not yeah. And then the one in Samasanjali is definitely new NPP. How many are left there? Oh, well, well for four or five. Uh, Mr. Malo, when you claim you have majority of... You no, 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 yeah? no, 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 three. So yeah? people not three. How many? Twelve, twelve. He's yeah. already counted eight yeah. or nine. Twelve altogether. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, but like si five, what he's trying to say is when, when, you, when, you, when, you, when, NPP, when NPP claims that uh, yeah. most of the independent belong to them, yeah. so he's telling you that definitely... Uh, 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 Four days, re four days rebel faction doesn't belong. They cannot be. They cannot. Okay. You know that. You know, you know that. That's you, know, you know that, sir. The yes. man, the man who's been masqueraded, uh, the UDP man masqueraded as independent Buzumbal. Buzumbal, yes. That, that one is. <laughs> you know that. You know but that. He, that man, he made an audio prior to his. Ah, okay. Prior to even election. Okay. The, the one is Samak Sanjal. Yes. He, he, uh, how is he? He's, he's very much anti NPP. Yes. Uh, anti NRP. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah, and and the two in Bangui. Tumanjai, obviously, you cannot say. Tumanjai is not. It cannot be. Tumanjai cannot be NPP. Abdullah in Jai too cannot be. So, how many independent are you left with? Even that three, the one in Janjambure announced today that. Omar Jamme? Yeah, he that will never ever go to NPP. NPP. Well, no, so what Omar Jamme said, I heard his. Uh, what did he say? I read it. What did he say? Said I, I his his people. His, I, somebody said it. What did me. he say? What he said, Omar Jamme said, mm -hmm. the people of Georgetown, mm -hmm. I will never disappoint you. Yeah. Oh, he didn't he say, said, I'm, no, I'm going to NPP. He didn't he, say, no, no. He, he said, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I'm not with any political party. Ah, yes. Right. So, so, so that means he said, included NPP. He, that included he said, NPP. He said, uh, you people nominated me. Yeah. And you voted I'm, for me. Yeah. Under independent. Yeah. Yeah. I, am in, I am independent. And I remain independent. I am independent. I so remain now, independent. So now, yeah, let yeah, me tell you what. Champ. 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 This is politics. Politics. Okay. Politics. Yes. No, that's NPP. Yunus. No, Kian Center is independent. Yeah. 
No, okay, yeah. 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 Central is independent. Yeah. Central. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. you know, I think 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 you know, what somebody said, Monitor. what people are saying outside, uh -huh. could, how can you believe uh -huh. then in 2017 when Barrow came into power uh -huh. without an, if, when UDP break away with UDP? Uh -huh. can, can you, if anybody tell you that Barrow will go with some MPs, will get MPs, will cross this bridge uh -huh. up to 2020, uh, uh, 2022, uh -huh. elect, uh, 2021 election, uh -huh. would, would you believe? Yeah, incumbency can, can, can bring about, they can even destroy the UDP. So don't, all this noise will so hear it. Uh, all this Barrow, noise will no, hear listen, it. These no, people, no, no. if they see listen, these people, listen. they are watching. Uh, and they, if they see no, that, no. the yeah. MPP government is delivering. Yeah. They are doing the they right thing. They are but, going to be but we want ah. to correct. And they are going to be now but but We just want to correct the impression that you people are giving, that the majority of the independents who won are actually MPP. That's not but the case. Right now, we can also we can also say that this independent, um, legally, Some of them. they are not. They are not with any. We can say that they are independent. Yes, that's yeah, what everybody yeah, said. Yeah, they, are, they are with no. You are the one who claimed that they are. Close. No, what I'm telling you is uh, uh, that is just the political politics. 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 I, see. Politics. I, see. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now it is. It is not correct for me. Finally, yeah. it is finally not correct now. for anybody to right now to judge them uh, that they have come yeah. finally. Exactly. But we all know the opinion. We know what and is happening. And, and, and know, politics and, is a development. And you always know how to get them. And it's a development. Not so. You always know how politics to get them. Politics is development. <laughs> <laughs> politics, don't be surprised even to have party leaders <laughs> uh, crossing over. Crossing <laughs> over. <laughs> going to the government. That's it. And are we know with APRC? Yes. Are we know with NRP? NRP was in power before NPP. NRP. Yes. They were in politics before NRP, before yes. Alabama. Yes. PPP. This even UDP huh? could have. No, even no, UDP. Even Usain Udabo, don't surprise to him, for him to come back, come back to be as, an advisor of Adam Abaro. No, that's problem. politics. That's all possible. So that's all possible. All possible. Those, all possible. Those, those parties you are calling, they all mortgage their parties to. <laughs> oh, well, let's go. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yes, it's, yes. it's not a matter of. All this alliance you are talking about, yeah. all of them are mortgages. They, they did that in the interest of Gambia. Now, let me. That's what they did. Mr. Jack, Mr. Jack, Mr. Bar. There's one interesting thing I wanted to know. Yes. What has become the fate of all the political parties that came, that came in the presidential election? I'm talking about the GANU, the PAPs, GPDP, uh, you the name GPDPs, it. Uh, NRD, I don't know. What, has, what has become to them? They are, they are all with They're all swallowed. <coughs> no, they are not swallowed. <laughs> they, still, they are still existing. They have the, they are, they have the entity of their party still now. The parties are, their parties are existing, but we are working as a coalition partner. Okay. And what do you have for yeah. them? Time will tell. Gradually, you will see what they, what, what we have. For. We have, you have seen what we have for uh, APRC. Bakari. Didn't you see that? Actually, yeah. <laughs> didn't you see what we have for yeah. APRC? Yeah. Finally, uh, finally, it's coming. Finally, for APRC. We have APRC now today uh, has realized that definitely fine. Barrow. That's right. No, no, Barrow no, is finally, will never be an enemy to APRC. Finally, we are coming. Finally, the on that venture. Finally, we are coming to that area itself. The five nominations. Yeah. Fabakari Tombo Jata, Sidi Jai, Maimuna Sise, Fatumata Jawara, and Keba Lankopala. Um, what do you, um, I mean, Mr. Mr. Mbalo, do you think these are very good nominations, given the fact that many people argue that, you see, this uh, power of nomination actually morally um, should enable the president to look for minority groups um, uh, to get them represented in the assembly so that they could feel that they also are part of the country. But instead, your critic said President Barrow went for only his party and his supporters. Well, that is, that is the popular critic. Uh, that's what the critics are saying. Well, uh, is it not a valid critic? Including the journalist. Is that not a valid critic? I have had him come. Is it not a valid critic? Is it not a valid critic? Is it not a valid critic? I have had him over radio. Is it not a valid critic? And also, I have seen where people. Uh, uh, criticizing that the minority yes. is not representative. You advise President Barrow. Yes. Wouldn't would you tell him that, look, Le we could have... Let me tell you, mm -hmm. and I, say, I have said it, um, I think yesterday King FM also called me to okay. ask me about the same question. Okay. And what I, what I told uh, me, uh, the King FM radio mm -hmm. is what I'm going to say here again. <coughs> exactly. That the minorities mm -hmm. are not neglected and they, they are not left behind. Mm. 
I, I saw them and I, I saw the Gambian people that the minorities are going to be represented. There are many ways to do it. To, 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 to do it and also for them to be represented. Still now we have a cabinet, a caretaker cabinet, isn't it? Yes. A new one will come. Who knows what is going to happen there? There are many, many sectors whereby they can play a role, mm -hmm. these minorities. Right. We have the youth represented, we have the women represented, mm -hmm. we have selected them in the National Assembly, we have selected the youth, sec uh, youth. Mm -hmm. Kebal Lam Kofana is a youth, mm -hmm. he is the Secretary General of the Youth Wing, mm -hmm. he is representing... Only the that they all come from the same part, or, 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 or support it, it, At the National Assembly, I think I heard the journalist saying that in the National Assembly is neutral. I think, so don't come here, I don't... Somebody should come, not come here and tell us that it's the party, 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 party. <laughs> in the National Assembly, they look at the interests of their sector. That is the youth wing and the women wing. We had my mother say, after, after taking oath, talking about gender, gender equality, mm -hmm. that the women, mm -hmm. including opposition. Mm -hmm. So at the National Assembly, let's not bring politics in the National Assembly. That is not going to help us. But if we want to fight there now, to fight at the, at the, at the, at the put them, make okay. them look ahead, what, eh? it's not going to work. If we put them, to tell them mm -hmm. that look at the interests of the country, mm -hmm. you will see even MPP, mm -hmm. they will realize, everybody will realize that Gambia falls. Yeah, the this is what I want Gambian to, to, to advocate. The nominations, according to your critics, is that they all come from your party. You could have gone for somebody who is apolitical, who doesn't even belong to any party, like a, a, a retired professional in law or a retired medical practitioner, a retired journalist. A retired uh, farmer, in fact. So Dis disabled, disabled person, particularly. Well, what I'm telling you is, mm. like Mr. Chairman, what? Or in politics, loyalty mm. is very important. President Barrow said that. Not, yeah. not only the loyalty. What I'm yeah, telling you, uh, not only the loyalty. What is important? What we are looking at, where they can represent the Gambian people and their sectors ad yeah. adequately. Yeah, what and we feel yeah. we can even create units. Exactly. Why yeah, disabled? Okay. Exactly. Okay. So we have right. the power to create disability disability unity. Disability bill is, is right down li right now lying down. And none of the parties put up uh, disabled. Only an independent candidate in in, in Trane Mentor, right? None of the parties put up a disabled. Was there any candidate for? Yes, for a disabled this? independent. Where? In in Trane Mentor. Yeah. Lamin, Lamin Mane. Yeah, they were there. I I, I didn't it was know. Only one. Oh, only one. Yeah. The only parties are said disabled, disabled. Even women. You all say no, none women. of the parties. With all what they are talking here, yeah. which party? Can you tell me which party that put up a candidate? A woman. Now you are telling me you are telling no, me. disabled. No party. Put we up. were even advocating for these women. Mm. They, with all they are talking for propaganda purpose. Mm. Most of our critics I think the are propaganda. I think the independence that they are talking about. They are advocating for women, yeah. minority, yeah, yeah. and also disabled. Mm. Why didn't they tell these parties mm -hmm. to put up their candidates? Yeah, but if, I mean, I mean put the, MPP, the MPP did not put many candidates, did you? Who? Cool. Women candidates, did you? We put, we put lots of. How no. many? We How had, many? We no. had about, I one. don't know, three of I, I don't uh, Where? The one in, the uh, one in. The one in Salom, is it here? Salom. Salom, yes. And so also the one in, is it? Some of them went independent. Most of them went independent. They went independent. They are not, um, let me, we got two. There, there, there's Tuman Jai. I mean, three got elected. Anyway. Independent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tuman Jai and Fatu Cham of, uh, of Amicoli. Of So only three got elected. Yeah. So we have only three. So, so I, I think, I think, well, I think we are going to get there. I mean, the country, thank God. So President Barrow nominated two, so we have five. Mr. Right? Chang, mm. I think we should thank God. Yeah. Gambia, we, this democratization process has taken its shape. Okay. If we can come here and stand here and argue and advocate. And argue. And nobody, nobody will fear of being arrested. Fear of being arrested. Ah, I, 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 I don't know. We, we, we are coming. Four days. We are coming and it's going to happen. Four days, no problem with that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's sleep in dark lights. Oh, okay, let's okay, okay. okay. No, I mean, I, I think uh, <laughs> President Barrow actually didn't respect the, the spirit of uh, that section of the Constitution, which uh, gave him the power to nominate five people. The objective of that section actually is to look at uh, uh, certain interest groups which are not represented in the National Assembly, mm -hmm. like the Christian community, for instance, the minority Christian communities. Of course, we had, I think, four or five I mean, uh, Christians who actually contested in the elections, but their chances were very, very limited, so they didn't win a single seat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, that is a great area. He should at least have had one Christian among those nominated to mm -hmm. represent that particular, I mean, marginalized group. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I mean, the disabled. Mm -hmm. We saw in the last parliament we had a disabled, mm -hmm. represented the disabled. This time now, not a no. single person. Okay. I mean, President Barrow had that opportunity to at least 
get somebody you know to represent the disabled that didn't happen you know of, of course you can say i mean there are two women in there and uh, that was a youth and you know but uh, I'm, I'm sure those people will are more representative of president barrow and his partisan interests than even you know i mean representing youth oh. or the women or whatever and another thing is also um uh uh, um, I, I think I think that was something definitely not in the interest of uh, the people. I mean, Fatma Jawara, for instance, mm -hmm. she contested the election. She was defeated. Mm -hmm. I mean, morally, you cannot bring that lady back. I mean, to, to represent the people when in the, the people have already yeah. decided that they don't want her to represent them. Yeah. I think that's a moral and an ethical issue here, yeah. which uh, unfortunately we are not respected in this yeah. case. But okay. honestly, I think the spirit of the uh, section. I s was not uh, complied with, with pre by President Barrow. Fole, you were the nomination. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to re-echo what my boss said. Um, just before I had the announcement, I said if I were to advise Adam Barrow, mm. I was going to ask him to nominate the representative of the trade unionist. Trade unionist, yes. yes. Yeah. I the reason why I said that, Mm -hmm. We had issues, transport issues in the country, yeah. outside the country. Teachers Union had problems here. We had medical all these things. Other things here. Mm -hmm. So if you have someone there, mm -hmm. remember the National Assembly is the house where our laws are going to be postulated. Mm -hmm. So those people representing the trade union mm -hmm. will represent and tell us actually what is affecting the trade union, mm -hmm. all the unions. So in that way, it will help them to postulate proper laws mm -hmm. so that it affects those people. because. Uh, the, tra the transport union, the teachers union, whatever union we call it, are going to affect us directly because that is part of the, mm -hmm. you know, um, socialization process and also contributing in the economy mm -hmm. and even the security of the country. Mm -hmm. So, not having one to represent the trade union, mm -hmm. I think um, that's, 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 that's one that's thing. An oversight. Then I thought mm -hmm. also apart from that, mm -hmm. I was not going to get a youth representative because <coughs> the youth are represented enough in the National Assembly. We've got young people. Mm. If you look at Amin Arakoli. Yes, yes, Amin Arakoli is 36. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Keba, Bakar Kebaji from Pony, Berefet. Mm -hmm. It's a young person. Mm -hmm. You have uh, this guy from Janjambore. Uh, 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 it's yeah. a youth. Okay. Umar yeah, exactly. So you would expect them, mm -hmm. not only represent their, uh, uh, their areas, mm -hmm. but represent the country, the youth sector. Mm -hmm. I was also going to think of getting you know, somebody from the uh, people with disability. Mm -hmm. Because again, if you look at the world, it's revolving. Development is inevitable. Mm -hmm. We are not stagnant. Yeah. When you go to places today, they are not given preference. They are struggling with people mm -hmm. when it comes to getting onto the train, yeah. or, sorry, onto Boss. buses or anywhere yeah. at work and so on. Mm -hmm. You know, their treatment at workplace. Mm -hmm. We have to look at that. Mm -hmm. And because I, I forgot to mention something, the trade unions also could better represent the people, mm -hmm. how they are treated at work. At work okay. You know, health and safety at work. Mm -hmm. We've seen places like the ministry uh, f uh, fishery ministry was born down to us. Yeah. We look at the market, what's happening there. Mm. Was it due to fault uh, electrification and so on? Mm. We have to put in all these things in place. Mm. But we don't have anyone representing them there. Mm. So, um, yeah, so I, would, I was going to expect a trade union representative, mm -hmm. um, woman representative, yes. and I do not want to say Christian representative. I mm, was going to call it religious, religious representative. representative. And then mm. this person would come from the Christian sector. Okay. Do you understand? Because mm. again, the Muslim mm. are, are adequately re represented, represented there okay. at the National Assembly. Right. But this is an <coughs> executive power mm. vested on him. Mm -hmm. For the next five years, whatever mm. he does, mm. we are the one who gave him that power to do. Mm. So what we should do as the, the electorate mm. is to observe mm -hmm. and learn so from what he's doing yeah. so that if he has gone wrong yeah, after point it out at 2026 mm -hmm. we will then decide whether we're going to put him back okay. at this point in time mm. we don't have much to blame Adam Abaro. he's been there five years yeah the Gambian people went to the vote yeah. to the polls yeah and vote him so the Gambian people know. share the blame yes share the blame of course <laughs> yes, yes, yes. because you've been there five years and you've yeah. seen what he was doing yeah. and you voted him what did so what do you want to say now uh, we can't change that now share the blame yes. yeah so what I'm uh, saying, uh, whatever he's doing now, he's using his ex executive power. Whether he's using it rightly or, or he's misusing it yeah. for his own interest, yeah. it's left to the Gambian people it's to learn a lesson from that. And yeah. so that 2026, yeah. we'll see whether we want to bring in Lamin Cham yeah. or we want to bring in Mr. Jao or Mr. Mbalo. That's it. Mr. Jadama, your take on the nomination. Uh, yes. Um, I think um, it's a disappointment. It's a disappointing uh, um, act on the part of the president, mm -hmm. with all due respect. 
um, because if you look at the composition of the five nominees, mm -hmm. by virtue of Section 88 of the Constitution saying that the president can nominate five, mm -hmm. but there should be an eligibility cri uh, criteria for that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how did the president came up with the five nominees based on what eligibility mm -hmm. or whether within internal law is from uh, these uh, president's own feelings. Mm -hmm. But uh, for many areas, people are talking about um, these are based on partisan politics. The presidents nominate these people and in fact went ahead and gave recommendation that I want XYZ to be the uh, speaker and deputy speaker, yeah. you see, which um, I, I don't see any reflection of, because the purpose of these uh, nominated members mm -hmm. is to have that um, imbalance. Mm -hmm. If there is an imbalance within the house, sometimes um, uh, the people drawn from these uh, nominees yeah. can, can, can uh, yeah. render their expertise. Can act independently. Can, can act independently. And in fact, sometimes they can even be more positive than even the opposition yeah, yeah. and they can even do better than even the ruling party exactly. because if you look at the ruling party mm -hmm. they will be on party line basis yeah. there partisan politics. politics and then the opposition too at times mm -hmm. um, um uh, this will give them yes, uh, you yes, know sir. a moral yeah, boost like you said the, it, the, 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 the all the whole purpose was for the president to uh, give opportunity to people yes who would act independently independently to, to and with expertise or, yes, with expertise yes, too expertise. with expertise. expertise so this can come from uh, unionists this can come unionist, from um, non party uh, uh, non partisan yeah, non -party. and this can even come from people who have served who have served gambia yes. you know uh, you know for all their life for all their life, and this yes. can come from the business community exactly and exactly. you know you know we can have it from uh, as uh, these people are saying the, from the minority too exactly. but when it comes to the youth mm -hmm. i don't see any representation of the youth in that nominees mm -hmm. because you have so many enough young people in the house already Mm. as Mr. George said. Yeah. So if you look at um, that woman is saying is representing the woman, mm -hmm. in what yeah. aspect is he representing the woman? Mm -hmm. I don't see any point in that. Mm -hmm. So these are people, President Barrow is sending these people to have a formidable force in the house, mm -hmm. to get control of the house. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of his uh, five nominees. It's out of discretion. Mm -hmm. But this discretion should be guided by common sense. Uh, it's not just a discretion of anyhow or you just faith. Yeah, but you know, out of good faith. Mm -hmm. They have to see the Gambia force. Mm -hmm. So these nominees will be derived from th this expertise mm -hmm. and then they'll be able to help the house because if you look at the composition of the house now where are, where are the expertise there, there is no expertise mm. things like um, when it comes to financial expertise and if we need, if we need professionals to be in the house yeah. to help yeah. in shaping policies public policies yeah, for because example, but teachers, and so. these people will concentrate on the substance of um, uh, debate than uh, uh, form and uh, you know rhetoric mm. when you have this expertise in the house mm. so I, I totally it's, it's, it's a disappointment and it's a failure to be honest, it's a very wrong, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a very wrong start for the beginning on a wrong footing. I will then give the final word to Mr. Mbalo to address that with Orapo. Mr. Mbalo, the general feeling is that Mr. Barrow could have done better by not entirely really nominating his party supporters rather than going to people who are either professionals in other areas or who are, are perhaps expected to be neutral, uh, you know, or be experts on issues. Well, um, Mr. Cham, hmm. it is good that. Um, Everybody is expressing your opinion, yeah. and uh, this is what democracy calls for. Mm -hmm. um, there is no perfect, hundred percent demo democracy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Whereby where, where whatever people need mm -hmm. is going to is going to is going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's a trial. Democracy is trial and error all over the world. Mm -hmm. But people are trying. We have seen the super de whereby the powerful democracies mm -hmm. like United States and UK, other places. Mm -hmm. We have seen what is happening there. Mm -hmm. It's trial. Sometimes they, something happen. People don't, the people criticize it. Mm -hmm. People call for change, mm -hmm. and they change it. Yeah. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. This is our democracy. Mm -hmm. We thank God, the Secretary General is somebody who listens. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have seen, uh, Mr. Jao said it here, mm -hmm. that in, uh, at the beginning of 2017, a disabled was nominated. Mm -hmm. And I think, who nominated him? It was him. Yeah. So if this time, mm -hmm. people feel that this uh, uh, disabled is not according to what they are saying here now, mm -hmm or the minority, mm -hmm. the, 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 the minority is not represented, mm -hmm. and uh, people are talking about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to, of course, it's going to be noted. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, we have to wait for another five years. I, I, I mean, <laughs> already we have a representative of the youth. Mm -hmm. What they are saying here is, I mean, that youth were elected. Yes, yes, yes. But this is, we are talking about section 88 of the constitution, the power that is given to the president to do it. That's why he nominated a youth, Keval and governor, mm. regardless of whether all the elected members were youths. Mm. This is a power given to him and he did it. Mm. The women also, women sector, regardless, if all the constitution, FBRC brought about 20, uh, brought about 
10 or 15 MPs, mm. women. Mm. PPP brought one or five. Mm. UDP brought five. Mm. That would not stop the president from nominating some. He feels that the women mm. sh voice should be sent there. Only, that they, only, that, That's they will, what it only that they will come from one part. So politics must be in the mind of the president when he was. But at the, and house of the, at the National Assembly, yeah. uh, don't forget, the National it's, Assembly, it's when you are there, it's for the interest of the Gambia. That's why we send them there. That's why he nominated them. But what we That's why they are nominated. All of them are from one let us not Let us not propagate the National Assembly. What, what they are doing, what some of the critics are doing, mm. they are trying to use this for propaganda. Mr. Mbala, so I hope you are not going to go to any independent candidate to try to lure them to come to yours. No, no, we are not going to do that. We are going to leave all the independent okay. candidates. Okay, can you, can you, are, you take his word for that? They are free <laughs> to go to APR, they, to do what they want, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. or to represent the interests of the uh, country. Okay. I know. In fact, Just like what we did in 2017. Fantastic. In fact, I, in, fact in some jurisdictions, it doesn't have to come from the president. It's just that it's unfortunate we have it this way in our settings. Yeah, in but our normally, there should be a special select committee within the National Assembly mm -hmm. that will come up with names. Yeah, they can even the invite the public to, yeah. to, you know, to give names. Yeah. And even uh, communities, local communities can conduct primaries yeah. to submit names. Exactly. And then finally, the appointing power comes from the president. Yes, yes, yes. When everything is done by the National Assembly, you yes, just yes. forward the list of the president yeah. for finally appointing them. Yeah. The appointed power comes from the president. Okay, even, even but it's this unfortunate. One, even, even it's unfortunate. This one, I think in the draft constitution there's something like that. I'm not too sure whether it's, it's, it's it no. In fact, the draft constitution there's something I like know. there's something like nominees. Yeah. No, yeah. In, in fact, that, that has been discarded. That there's something like discarded. nominated members. And the, there was this expansion. <laughs> 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 there you go. Yeah. Anyway, Lamin, yes. I, I just let me observe one or two things. Yeah. Um, the, the notion of independent candidate. Mm -hmm. When you have your, I mean, well, leaders, for example, a minister mm -hmm. in the name of uh, Ahmad Bah, mm -hmm. saying, independent Bah Hussoneke, independent Donyo, NPP, so Bugenyo, NPP, then I resign. Wow, that's one. That is not correct. Yeah. And in fact, misleading the people because yeah. that, that law has that already law been has changed. Been so you can so let it. people be clear. Mm -hmm. if, as an independent candidate or uh, from another political, if you want to go to another political based on the interest of your people or whatever you can. Mm -hmm. So that is a wrong that, that, uh, misleading. Of yeah, point of correction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. Mr. 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 Cho, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, section 91 deals yeah. with that. Yeah. And then the only thing that was amended yeah. was, um, um, was, parties. If, uh, was, was parties. Was parties. If, I expect, if, if you, you fall out with a party yes. Yes. and then you don't lose your... But yeah. that happened with the UDP 8. Yeah. 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 That fall out with the UDP and they still retain and they still retain. But independent, if you cross cap it, you have to resign completely. And if you are in another party also you want to move to another party you have to resign mm -hmm. so that is been taken care of by the constitution by thank you very much good observation that amendment, so, yes. so thank you see the independent so one well they may not necessarily announce that i have resigned but they can uh, i have yes they can yes, always raise their hands up uh, we have seen that for whatever right. we right. have yeah. seen it we have seen they, it in they, the they past don't need to in the, in the yeah, yeah, in the past National Assembly, it happened. It happened. When UDP fall out with the eight uh, uh, you know, MPs, yeah. they were virtually, yeah. they, were they were independent. independent. Their status automatically came to independence. Independent. But they were say, so in allegiance to NPP. NPP. So, but so officially, if they announce that they are NPP, they, they lose their seat. Yes. They yeah. have to resign my and go for by election. So, so, so my second observation is, right. Mr. Mbalo has been talking about democracy. Democracy, we have this now, we have that. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, mm. democracy is a process. Mm -hmm. You pick up from where the person has take, left it to move forward. Um, we have got issues. The APRC government, some of the things that happen in this country, we all knew, positive, negative. Some of the actions were based on intelligent report, right? And it happened everywhere in the world. We've seen you know, countries like you know, United Kingdom, America, taking intelligent report to go to, yeah, to, go to um, Iraq. Wow which turned out to be an intelligent failure. Mm -hmm. So it happened across the board. Mm -hmm. What we need yes. as a country mm -hmm. is to build on those, and those principles of democracy mm -hmm. and build them up. So we, we where, where we, you left we had, we, yeah, where yeah, you we, had left we had an independent electoral yeah. commission, which yeah, was not we, here. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's an institution exactly. that, you know, yeah. uh, uh, so the dispensation of democracy. Exactly, yeah. You know, Office of the Ombudsman. Yeah. We've seen the uh, youth council and all whatnot. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it is, again, the duties and responsibility of the government mm -hmm. to unite us and reconcile with the past. Mm -hmm. Not only going to the ex-president's family, meeting them, trying to reconcile with the ex-president, mm -hmm. but also people who were affected during our time. Mm -hmm. 
victim. engage them. Mm-hmm. For example, people who lost their life, you can pay yeah. for, no, for one's life. Yeah. But engage them and say, look, this is an issue and we are looking into it. Mm-hmm. But we have taken this into politics so much oh, that wow. our country is divided. And that division is caused by the government mm-hmm. and some of the political parties. Right. Today, mm-hmm. they have seen some of us in the non-alliance APRC mm-hmm. jubilating with UDP. Mm-hmm. And they said we are now friends. How people are condemning us, insulting us. But where, for example, in Fony Barefoot, UDP has 1,000 plus during the presidential, mm-hmm. and they didn't have a candidate, and they supported us. Mm-hmm. Do, do you think they don't have any right to jubilate with their representative? Mm-hmm. They have right. So the leaders, especially those, the presidential advisor here with us, mm-hmm. you have to look at things holistically. Mm-hmm. We don't hate the president. Yeah. He has got his bad side, but he has his good side. Mm-hmm. You know, he's very soft. Yeah. As a leader, you have to be firm. You have to be consistent. Mm-hmm. You have to make people know why you are taking certain decisions. Exactly, exactly. But sometimes when the president should come, I'll give you a few examples. Mm-hmm. When the, issues hap- uh, the issue of Fony 24th happened, mm-hmm. the president didn't make any statement, mm-hmm. nothing. And then he went to Senegal mm-hmm. to integrate a stadium. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, I think he made a statement. Yeah. He said this Gambia will not be used as a, as that, a that launch pad for... Yeah, from, from the, let me learn from the uh, spokesperson's uh, yeah, press release. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The spokesperson has got already, you know, a, a dented image because all the time it is about APRC Oyajam, he will come with a press release. Ah, okay. But what actually is going to help Adam Abaro? Mm-hmm. They are not doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm not MPP. But at this moment, Adam Abaro is our president. He should have advisors. You have not him, but other advisors who will turn around and said the Gambia is like pooch patch, the family, Nikki, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that is not the way you talk. Today we have a very good conversation with him. Yes, he and I think he will take some things on board Absolutely. and adva- ad- uh, advise the president. That's the thing about him. He yeah. confronts issues and deal with them headlong. But we have security issues in this country. Mm-hmm. Fony is not um, a region. It's part of a region. Mm-hmm. It's Gambia. Let them look at it and see how they can so- solve this problem. It's affecting the livelihood of the Gambian people. Absolutely. The children are not going to school. To school yeah. As a result of that, yeah. the um, uh, Minister of Basic Education have to reschedule the grade 6 exams yes. and grade 9 exams. Yeah. Who is that affecting? Yeah. Government, the people, the taxpayers, exactly. not only for any people. Yeah, so true. I want people to see it in that perspective, right. that not in the perspective of Fonichor is going to Fony mm-hmm. in order to... I am there because I think I am from Fony mm-hmm. and I've, um, I can talk to them what's happening and they listen. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But Mr. President should act as a president of the Republic of the Gambia, not the president of the Republic of the Gambia minus Fony. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. For the chor, Kausu Jadava, uh, Demba Ali Jao, and uh, no, no, no last words? Well, we have already met. We have, it, was, it was going to be. Uh, sorry about The last word will always pop up, pop up, pop up. Pop up, pop up. <laughs> yeah. You want to say something very quick? Uh, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to have a presidential advisor oh, yes, in our midst, and um, I'm he, grateful that. Always. Um, and then I like, I, I'm thankful to the contribution of all the panelists. Okay. But um, my message to the Advi- advisor is that um, the president is choosing to lead. Mm-hmm. So he's not the person who should follow. Mm-hmm. We, we choose him entirely. Whether you are UDP, you are whatever, you are opposition, it becomes the president of the entire Gambia. Mm-hmm. So obviously, and then we need proactiveness on the side of the president mm-hmm. and the advisors. He has a t- whole team of advisors around him. Mm-hmm. So sometimes people wonder what happened. Anyway, Good. thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Malo. Thank you, Mr. Jadama, Mr. Dao, <coughs> and for the tour. I will be back next week. Until then, loving time, we should have a great and enjoyable weekend and holiday. Data on all Gamsel data bundles. Buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes. Buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes. Buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes. Any amount of Gamsel data bundle you buy, you will receive 20% extra data for free. Dial star 302 star. Data amount hash. Or go to your Yaiboro menu and choose your data bundle now. Gamsel data. It's fast, lasts longer, and very reliable. Gamsel Yaiboro. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personnel 
who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship, Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.